What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show. If it's your first time joining the show, welcome to the show. Like I say, uh, we put this out every single Friday. We don't miss, baby. This week, we got an incredible guest, Stevie Weeby Lee, one half of the Scissor Bros and the Lee Bros. I love this dude. He is so funny. We get into some deep personal stuff, and uh, it's uh, well, well worth the watch all the way through. Uh, hey. I told you I'm on tour. We're adding dates as it goes. Go to andrewsantino.com to check out your boy. For New Year's NYE, I'm going to be in Phoenix, Arizona at Stand Up Live downtown. Come see me, Phoenix. Celebrate with an ex-Sun Devil. And then in the New Year, I'm going to Kansas City and St. Louis and Atlanta and D.C. and Albany and Chicago, Illinois. Uh, Seattle, uh, Portland, Vancouver. I'm all over the place. Go to andrewsantino.com for tickets. andrewsantino.com for those tickets. Enough rambling from me. Let's go to the episode. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again today. It's Stevie Weeby Lee. Stevie Weeby, yeah. Dude, my man Steve Lee is in yeah. the house. One half of the Scissor Bros. One piece yeah. of a scissor. Thanks for saying that. One half of the yeah. Scissor Bros. No, like, since you brought it up, did, are we are we like the annoying little brother podcast? Yes, <laughs> you are. <laughs> no, I love you guys. <laughs> Okay, I love you guys, okay. but you know what? No, we don't it, want to ruffle any feathers because I know it is Bob, a fun game that we get to play with you guys. You guys got us good last time. We got, I mean, when you put the goggles on, mm-hmm. it, it kind of hurt. It kind of just a little bit, kind of like jabbing. We're jabbing. Yeah, <laughs> we're jabbing, dude. That's half of the fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Steve is one half of the Lee family brother duo. Just me one and him. half of the mm-hmm. Sis Bros, mm-hmm. and. Uh, we just were talking for a second off camera that now you're doing stand-up. You guys are touring doing Sis Bros Live, mm-hmm. and now you're doing stand-up, and you bombed. You ate shit at the lab. Give it to me. I want to hear all about it. Yeah, so I had... Well, let, let me give you context. I'm, I'm I'm a month back from seven years ago. I mean, seven years ago, I bombed at the Tempe Improv. Mm-hmm. I made up for that, though. I had a decent sets recently, a couple weeks ago, you know. Okay. And I used to work there, so I made up for that. Right. And the thing about stand-up that I kind of like reluctantly like ignored as far as like you have to like respect the craft itself like in my mind i'm like oh i could do anything you know just talking about this and mm-hmm. then i'm gonna hit you know i'm gonna kill you know but it was a reality check on monday it was you didn't it was kill it. no i did the opposite what would can you give me can you give me the vibe over i don't tell a joke but no 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 no, no. what well, do you think set them well, off I'll just i'll just let you know my i don't have a lot of material andrew like i was it, it uh, what i'm doing is a bit hacky like i i, I have like small micro i have micro penis jokes bobby stuff kind of like bobby stuff but in my own way <laughs> so already yeah. i was already kind of like oh yeah. you, you know? don't have a micro penis though no i mean it's not the biggest it's not the smallest it's a regular penis well it is when it's soft it is really small but i, I gr- i'm a grow like i could grow same growing out yeah, of yeah, yeah 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 i grow yeah. and so um I don't know how to read the room. There's a lot of things that I know you veterans do. Like, you know how to read the room. You know how to gauge the crowd. You do crowd work. You know, oh, I'll do this other set instead of this. Other. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, I don't have any of that. You just go for it all the time. Yeah. Well, I don't. This is my. This was my 10th uh, show. I, I've literally been doing it a month. Yeah. And but I I haven't bombed. I had up until that point I haven't hadn't bombed. But this I, was a crowd. Was this crowd familiar with you at all? They nobody did it, knew no. You. That's that that's great. You brought that up. <laughs> they had no idea yeah. who the fuck I that's was. That's a true testament to how good you are, right? Because if a crowd doesn't know you, anybody can kill in front of their own audience, right? But I mean the way the, the way you just said that was painful. But yeah, uh, I hear I'm here. But that's you. okay, dude. We all yeah, have yeah. to go through this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and so we all have to eat shit. So you. Well, I want to hear. I'll say my story, okay, and ahead. then I want to hear it from your as a veteran, because yeah. I was. I know you guys been like doing it for years and yeah. years, and you guys been there, done that. Yeah. Um. So, you know, it was Eric Griffin and friends. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh. Uh. A, mo- a Monday night. Uh, uh. It wasn't at the improv, but that small boxed room, the lab. The lab. Yeah. Next door. And I didn't realize, like, I should have been paying attention. I didn't realize, like, oh, no, this is a more difficult room. It definitely can be. I'll tell you, even for me, it's that's a, a we, it's a, it's a weird room. The layout is a little tough. It's not preferred. I'll say that. I don't really love the room because it's a small, the bar is really big. It's in the middle of the room. The stage is kind of off to the side. And it's, you're in this condensed 
box. It's weird, yeah. I mean, there's people on the side. Just, That's a little strange. You know what I mean? They're on stage left. It's very odd. Yeah, so obviously I was not even on the bill. I, the, Eric was doing me a favor, so I wasn't on the bill, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I'm, I'm going to be first up to bat. Sure, he put He's, you right up. Well, no, well, he did a little, like, intro, kind of warm-up. Like, he did, like, maybe 10, 12 minutes of material mm -hmm. but then again in my defense he wasn't crushing either he was he was kind of warm i mean it was i already I, I should have just gauged it like oh these people are like it, there were long stretches of chuckles uh, he would be just you know because his stuff he's he's a veteran so he was like more conversation like i don't have the that capability right. like when i'm up there i'm like a scared child like i'm <laughs> shivering like i'm just like oh you know like you know what but I mean? does it feel good do you like that fear? Well, we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah, I do because it's a bit of a, because I'm sober and it, it felt it feels like you're on cocaine or something. You're just right, like, like oh. you're juiced again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Like, like, like it's adrenaline, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, which yeah. it can work for you or against you. So I noticed Eric was like, you know, he was warming him up. And then I noticed at the end, he was just like, y'all got to loosen up. You know, this is a comedy show. You know, feel free to laugh. You know, like he mm -hmm. was kind of like trying to instruct the crowd on how to be. Yeah. and. So when he introduced me, I kind of, I went up there positively, you know, because I, what I've learned from watching Bob over the years, like when you, w your entry on stage, you, you can't be like, like, Meek you know, or you know I noticed yeah. when Bob, because I've seen him a thousand times, he comes out, you know, he does his, mm -hmm. you know, he does that, hey, you know, like, yeah. you know, he does that shtick, you know, shtick, I didn't do yeah. that, but I was smiling and I. I grabbed the mic and then I, I I put the stand behind me. Right. And then I just went into my thing. And I noticed I did my first thing and nothing. And then I'm like, okay, I'll do my second thing. But I was committing to everything I was doing. Mm -hmm. I, I like, but in hindsight, I looked like a fool. Like I was doing no. act outs. I was a fool. And then, so I did the second thing. <laughs> Nothing. Wait, why are you laughing, dude? <laughs> why are you? I just love that you are doing act outs and nobody's laughing and everyone's kind of just stone faced. Yeah. But the commitment is is huge, dude. You got to commit. That's really? great. Yes. It, but dude, <laughs> I, I couldn't sleep that night. I was in bed. Dude, I almost lost my sobriety. We'll get to that. Hey, no. No, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I No, no, because I learned from it. And we'll get to that, too, as far as the way I'm looking at it now. Yeah. And so I did my fourth thing. And then the thing that I'm like, okay, this is definitely going to get them. Right. You knew this is the hitter. This is the A-plus material. Yeah. Well, I don't have much to be. I mean, with what I had, it was my golden ticket. This is the banger. <laughs> this is the closer. I did it. This is it. And it was you know what it reminded me of? I mm. felt like I was at a book club. Like, picture like being in a book club where okay. they're well read, you know, literary people. Mm -hmm. And and then I'm going there trying to break dance. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> you know, I'm like, they're like, <laughs> we want to hear literary uh, quotes. And you know what I thought you were going to say? What? Is, is if you go to a book club and somebody asked, and everyone's read the book, but you didn't, and then they ask you, and you have to pretend like you know what the fuck you're talking about, and you're like, no, 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 I did, I read it, I read it, but you didn't read it, and they're all kind of seeing through it, and you're slowly breaking down, and you start to sweat, and you're like, I didn't read it, I don't think I, no, I read it, no, I did, I just didn't, I didn't see it the way you saw it, and then you slowly are crumbling from the inside, that's what I thought you were gonna talk about. That's I what mean, I that, thought it I'd, felt I'd like. I'd rather be that, because at least you're guy. you're on the same page. Like, hey, you know, I'm I have an interest in books. I just didn't do it. I'm, you know what I mean? I yeah. did a whole different thing where, when I was doing it, they're like they're like, what are you doing? But you didn't. But you didn't. Uh, it's not like you said anything to make anybody upset. You didn't. It just they didn't. It didn't connect. Oh God, I'm so, I'm so glad you brought that up. So no, I kind of did. You did. Cause and this is another thing is is how green I am in comedy and like I don't know what I'm doing. What or, did you say? Start no, Asian no, no, hate. No, 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 no. Start no, Asian I, hate. No, it, start no, Asian hate. It wasn't the content. It was like just observing what Eric was doing, like his crowd work, who he was talking to. Uh, he was kind of um, targeting or not or not targeting, focusing on one guy, and I, I couldn't see what the guy looked like. But the guy wasn't participating and had a like. But I didn't know what. He, and guess mm -hmm. what? When I tried to do my glimmer of hope of like throwing a Hail Mary right. uh, crowd work thing. It, I went to that guy. It was like this older wow. Filipino guy with the mask. And I did a thing where I wanted to like, hey, you know, like, yeah, touch my dick. Yeah. Oh. Poke it. 
you know, like I was like doing, I was trying to make, you know, like a icebreaker weird. Touch my dick icebreaker. Yeah, yeah, just kind of like. The I, old school, the hits. And he basically did, was the opposite. He was like, good luck with that, dude. You know, like he heckled me basically. Oof. So he heckled did me. Did they the, laugh at his heckle? No. Okay. That's even worse if they laugh at the okay, heckle. Okay, so that exists. Yeah, sometimes they heckle a heckle and the other people laugh and then you look stupider. <laughs> All Thank right, but, God but, that didn't happen. Yeah, but but the thing is, w- when he said that under his breath, I was my I was going to work with this section. Like mm-hmm. I didn't even acknowledge that he said that. Right. I just went, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I, you know, I mean, that's even worse. It's kind of like it is not kinda. even acknowledging someone farted. Like, dude, you know, someone you just farted, farted in the room. You farted. And we know. But you I farted. didn't acknowledge it. Right. So and then. It was a lot more painful because when I bombed last time at Tempe Improv seven years ago, this was even worse because, you know, you know how that's set up. You've done plenty of shows there. Yeah. They're kind of, you have space between the stage and the crowd. Right. But this was, I saw their faces. Mm. Like there's these two gals in the front. Oh my God. They were crossing their legs and they were like this. They're like. Oh my God. No. They were saying no. No, just kind of like. Just giving this uh, the eye roll. It was kind of like that. Next. What else do you got? <laughs> Next. No. Next. You know, <laughs> why do you laugh? Because, hey, dude, it was because, so painful. Yeah, and but you need to have these experiences. They'll build I, They'll build you as a comic. I do. As a comic, yeah. I felt like a goddamn fool. Yeah, but you know what? My you, face not... got red. Dude, and you know what ended up happening, Andrew? My mind went blank. Yeah. My, I, nothing was in my mind. I was, it was like a deer caught in headlights. I, I just, I just froze. I go, uh, 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 and then, then I was so desperate. I started saying just anything. I'm like, you know what I feel like? I feel like I'm in a Korean spa around a bunch of Korean naked. Like I was just coming up with whatever popped in my head. And they didn't like it. I, I got the thing is, well, this guy, uh, Con- well, this guy named Craig Con- Constant, or what? Do you know this? Craig Conan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Con- he, he's a comedian. Yeah, yeah, he's a comedian. He after the afterwards, I he, he I, I was in the green room upstairs, and he was laughing. Mm. I guess comedian. I don't know this, but I guess y'all like it more when a fellow comedians bomb rather By than far. kill. By far. He was laughing. He was yeah. like, "Oh." I'm so sorry, man. We all been through. I'm so, I'm not laughing at you. When you eat it, it makes other comics feel better. It's great. So you did a good thing. Maybe you didn't please the audience. You pleased the comics. That's great. What the fuck, dude? What the f- <laughs> hold up, man? Let's talk about that. What the hell? Sometimes are you're you servicing the about? comics, the comedy community, dude. You're doing a good thing. Why? Because it made them feel good. Cause okay, can sometimes I... you're playing for the back of the room. Do you know what that means? The back of the room for the comics. They used to say that the back of the room. You playing for the back of the room at the store. Well, I'll tell you this much: I hit a home run then with them. Well, they, fuck they yeah, they fucking loved it. Well, you killed then. How about this? Reroute this. You killed. <laughs> no, I he didn't. killed. Stevie killed. No, killed in the lab. So Crushed. are you saying that's a weird psychology? Are you saying that since there's so much competition, you know, there's so many so pe- much competition. So they they cherish when a fellow. Yeah. Open mic or a comedian just tanks it. Ah, of course, why not? Really? When it's a peer. When it's I would never enjoy someone bombing that's that is below me. You know that's Well, I'm that's, definitely below a lot all of you guys. I I'm this is a month in. Yeah, but Craig, but Craig was doing that show with you, right? Yeah, but he's uh I don't know if he's a headliner. He's got no, like yeah, yeah, he a does. decade but experience. I mean, but I mean like he's you. still a peer and you're all on a show together. It's nice Andrew, to see a bomb. I, was, I wasn't even on the flyer. I mean, the Be, thing is- Because you're too good for flyers. <laughs> you're too good. No, no, I know. Stevie, you're too good for flyers. No, no, no. I know I'm, a, the, new, I'm a, the new guy on the block, but I'm because I talked kind of maybe a minute about it on getting this thing, like briefly, like not the, the extent of what we're doing going yeah. into it. But Theo brought up a good point. He's like, oh, you set him up for failure. Why did you put him up first? Yeah, who Eric did? Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. And yeah. And then Eric's like, "Well, I, I did it because I did it. My very first set back was in that room. Was it after a host? Did a host go up, or was it just you? It was it. Eric said, "What's up?" Introduced it, and then he brought you on. No, no, no. Like I said, Eric walked up and was the host and did some time, then uh, brought me up. Uh, but still, I was kind of the first guy. You were up. first. You were first. Yeah. And you ate shit. I ate major shit. And can I tell you something? What? Who cares? So can you- You'll I, never remember it. It'll go away forever. I won't remember that. 
You won't. Look at me right now. It's gone. Okay, so I want to hear it because y'all are veterans. Because mm-hmm. I tried to, I, I, I needed, I needed some comfort. I needed to talk to people. I, I, I called Eric. I called my brother. They had no patience with me. I have patience for you. My brother said he was like, you know what? I, I feel if you were here right now, dude, I'd punch you in your face. Right. That's brotherly love. <laughs> That's how your brother loves you. I'm just like, what? Why, <laughs> dude? Do you know how many times I ate it? Everybody. And then he was like. And you know what he said? 15 years ago, dude. And he was telling me stories from like 15 years ago. Yeah. And then he was like, dude, at just at Supernova, like what's a Supernova? It's an outdoor show in okay, Hollywood. Dude, at Supernova, dude. I had a hard time, you know? Yeah, he like, said that to me. He said he didn't like his set. I'm telling you, dude, you're going to bomb a whole bunch. You're going to really? bomb a bunch. Yeah, it's going to happen. You're so, you're, you're so I'm fresh. I'm so new. It's fine. Who cares? So what do you suggest like going forward? Because I- Drinking. I pr- Start drinking. No, I was going to smoke a joint that no. night. No. Dude, you don't know what I was no. going through that night. I was literally, you know what it reminded me of? Have you, you like Twilight Zone? Sure. Like the old ones. The yeah, Rod the Serling. original. Yeah. yeah, 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 the seventy, the, the old school ones. Mm-hmm. I felt like it was a bad Twilight Zone <laughs> where it was a black and white thing. Yeah, and it was like slow motion. Like everything was going in slow motion. Yeah. I'm like. And then just seeing their like disdain for me, like, and it was vivid. You could see their faces. You could see. You could. You could see the dimples on their faces. It was in. just not compliant. It was. There was no love. It was just malicious. There was hatred. Uh, you know what I felt like? They hated me. They did. <laughs> <laughs> for that moment in time, they they hated you. They hated me. But they don't know you anymore. So, so are you saying it's okay? Wait, hold up. Are you saying they're not even thinking about it? N- no, no, exactly. They're not thinking about it. They're like, oh, just some Asian, there's some Chinese guy. They go, I, I think some Chinese kid did some. St- I don't remember who. I, and, and yeah. anyway, yeah, they're gone. It's gone. It's gone. It, it's gone. Oh, that makes me feel a lot better. See, I'm my worst critic because I was I had By like a hundred demons in my mind that night. Not worth it. I had okay, so I had an old CBD sponsor. Yeah. And I remember, like, I had it in my desk, but I, I, I didn't do it before because I opened it and smelled it, and it smelled like like regular weed. Yeah. I took a joint out. I was because I just wanted to get out of my head. I wanted right. to get the head change because I was obsessing about it. I was playing the whole night. Oh, you know, like a fucking like a like On loop like, like a, a loop like a merry go round. Yes. So I was that. This eight that hours. I was horse just like coming around. Yeah, I was just like oh, wait. and then I was looking at you know I was just replaying it, replaying it, replaying it, replaying it, and I'm like I need relief. I, I I'm gonna drive myself crazy. Go for a long walk. Go do some exercise. Go get a good meal. Go break something. Uh, go attack an elderly person. Go steal something. Um, hug a stranger. Um, uh, go to the grocery store and help someone bag their groceries. There's a lot of things you can do to take your mind off of it. Be of service. Huh? Be of service. Be of service. Be of service. Get out of yourself. Get out of yourself. Then you're not going to think about it as much. Yeah, that's really kind Let's of Let's be like, of service. It was like I'm bonded to, I was like, in bondage. You were bonded to, to, my the, thoughts. to the trauma. To yeah. My it was you were best friends with the trauma. Yeah. But so, now it's gone. And then I didn't lose my sobriety. Good. My neighbor came over. How many years now? Fourteen. That's a lot. That's a long time. What was the vice? Weed. Weed, weed specifically. Weed, weed and alcohol. But do you did you really like not, this stuff? Not hard liquor. I'm like I'm a beer guy. Yeah. Beer was like soda popped. I loved the weed. I loved it. Because like your brother, whenever I talk to Bob about like because this is what I like. Mm-hmm. He ne- this he never this stuff is too. Uh, it's never never was the, his thing. He was more like I remember in high school. He was more like meth, meth, weed. Yeah, uh, mostly and then meth. later in life it was more pills. Yeah, bad pills are so bad. Like he would do crazy. Like he would just be popping them like Skittles at one time. It's bad. At one point, and I'm like, what do you like? He I couldn't even like. He was just like. Did you ever do meth? Yeah. Did you like it? I'll tell you the story. I mean, I when I went to Arizona, because we have that in common, right? Sun Devil, baby. Yeah, yeah. So Sun Devil kids. I, I would hang out at this drug house. Um, Where was it? It was um, off rural in Lemon and rural Lemon. Oh, so it was Terrace. in Tempe. Yeah, it was. It was literally uh, like on campus, barely. Yeah, you know, yeah. we're rural. Sure. It's like in between university, rural, and Apache. Apache so in between yeah. like rural 
a, a rural university in Apache in between there. That's where the house was. Yeah. The drug den. The drug den. So I was in there just, I was just in some random uh, living room, like waiting. And then this guy just happens to come in and we're both waiting for the dealer. And he just like, you want to smoke meth? And I didn't even think about Why it. Why not? And I just went, yeah. And it was like, he had this weird contraption. Like, like it's a Twix. Like, like you want this glass. other half of this Twix? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah, I did give that. Give me that half. I didn't really like it though. Why? You didn't like the high? Yeah. Cause I remember like going back to my dorm and just like. Being bummed. You know, you know what it made me feel like? Since you brought, you know, we started with the comedy and the adrenaline. Mm -hmm. It reminded me of like right before, when you're new. And right before you go on stage, that adrenaline, yeah. you're, you know, but it just wouldn't go away. Right. It was just hours. How of long that. does meth last high? A meth high? It lasts a couple hours. That's a long time. A couple hours. Did you like do 24. anything constructive while you were high or no? You just sat? I think I just sat at my desk. Just staring at the computer? Yeah. I mean, first of all, I had no reason being in college. Like, yeah. it, it became like Groundhog Day. Like, do you know, I was there for like eight years, seven or eight years. You and Bert Kreischer. Well, he has the same story. Bert was at Florida State for like seven and a half years. You know, you know Van Wilder, the movie Van Wilder. Yeah, that's about Bert Kreischer. Really? That's about him. Rolling Stone came down to Florida State and wrote an article about a guy who was like a never graduate type of cat, and it was him. And then so, they ended up optioning those rights. That movie became a hit. That's basically Bert Kreischer's story. So why did he stay so long in school? Yeah, because he loved to party, and I don't think he could get out. Of, he couldn't. He couldn't go to school. Look at him now. He drinks a gallon of Tito's a day. Well, I, I mean, didn't know. I don't know much about. I've never met the guy. I mean, I'm a loved, fan of his. He loves drinking. I'm a fan of his. I like. I like. I like him. Yeah, um, he loves it. But I think with me, what was your major? Exactly. That's a great. Exactly. You didn't. Have, you didn't have one. No, I just remember I. I um tried to get into the school of business, <laughs> and I got denied. I just remember like, you know how like when you take a midterm or test, and then you have to go back to the building, and outside the building there's a score sheet, or yeah. and then you see what your grade was. I just remember so many times where, you know, I would go to the building and I would look up my name and what the grade, and just like cry. <laughs> 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 you know, like just pathetic, and everybody else is like, yes. do, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that type of thing. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. Here, man. <laughs> In here, we pour whiskey. Hey, if you're looking to blog or publish some content, put out an idea, you got a website idea, you got to use Squarespace. I've talked about it on the show before. I love Squarespace. I use them myself and I'm a not a so smart. Um, if you're looking to sell products or blog or publish content, showcase your work, um, their professional portfolio designs are incredible. Uh, I use what they gave me because I'm not good at designing stuff and uh, it's incredible. You can do it on your own, but they have uh, these award-winning templates and designs Everything on Squarespace is optimized for mobile right out of the box. Uh, and the new way to buy domains and choose from over 200 extensions, analytics that help you grow in real time. So if you're looking to put stuff up on a site, uh, Squarespace is the only place that I would suggest to use because I've tried a bunch of different ones and they're not that good. And they don't look that good. This looks clean and cool uh, and it's not chunky. And it's very easy to use. They've got built engine built-in engine search optimization. They got free and secure hosting, nothing to patch or upgrade literally ever. 24-7 award-winning customer support. So whether you're a architect or a fine artist, graphic designer, a coach, a trainer, uh, a podcaster, or any of the above, uh, you can use this for your personal websites or to sell merch like we do on our shows. And I gotta tell you, Squarespace is the place. Um, do yourself a favor, go to squarespace.com slash whiskey for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code whiskey, of course, to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Once again, squarespace.com slash whiskey. Use that code whiskey for 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Squarespace.com slash whiskey. Hey, when it's time to get naughty and dirty with your significant of, uh, you want to be ready. You want to be ready when the moment arrives. Uh, that's why you need to be Roman ready. Whether you've been in a relationship for years or just getting started, yeah, you're bouncing around. Having the confidence that comes from preparation means you're free to enjoy the moment when the moment arrives. Hey, this is a real statistic, all right? 52% of guys age 40 and up, up to 70. I don't know if they're testing guys in their 80s and 90s. They experience some form of erectile dysfunction, some form of ED, all right? It's not that rare. It's not that weird. It's more than half of the male population over 40. So, you know, you're not alone. Okay, 
It's going to happen to you. And uh, the benefits of ED treatment can help you reconnect with your partner and rediscover the joy of sex. Roman Rettery's confidence personified. It's a self-assurance that comes from knowing that you're going to be prepared uh, for yourself and for the other person. Look, a U.S. licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan. And if medication is appropriate, they're going to ship to you for free. Two-day shipping gets to your front door. Nobody knows it's up there. Get started. It's very simple. Go to GetRoman.com slash whiskey. GetRoman.com slash whiskey. Complete an online visit. Take care of your ED without leaving your house. All right, go to GetRoman.com slash whiskey today. If you're prescribed, get $15 off your first month of ED treatment. Make sure you're ready to have confidence and control this fall. Uh, GetRoman.com slash whiskey. Get Roman ready. Ginger. I like gingers. So you just kept failing your way through ASU. Yeah, but the thing is, I kind of have a, had a bit of like what Bert did, but like in my own way. It was for me, it was like I was the dorm king. Like I, I lived in almost every dorm at ASU. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll go to this dorm. This PV Maine. I lost my virginity in PV East. No shit. Yeah. Did we talk about that last, on your show? I don't you know. You lost your virginity in PV East. Yeah. I was a PV Maine guy. Okay, so. PV Maine was the, it was like that one. The that, flat. Yeah, two, the flat. Two, two stories. But, it's not there anymore. But what year? Or it is. It's what year different. was this? 2002. Yeah, back, because, I mean, believe well, it or not, I'm there. a little older than, like. I know you are. I fucking, back then, PV Maine was strictly sorority. Really? Yeah, so back then, PV Maine was like. I don't know the names. Let's just say Alpha Psi, or Alpha Phi, whatever. It alpha was, Phi. It was all like, like the blonde, all blonde sorority. Nice. And and then and you know at the bottom, I just remember me and my friends would just go there because they had like a, a Taco Bell. Correct. And like a like a student store, like a convenient. No, store no, no. Guy. You're thinking of. No, I'm talking about PV Main. They they had a basement st- the Taco Bell in there. Yes. What? Yeah. Holy shit. So we would go in there, but then it would be kind of like cringy because we would like me and my friends, like obviously there's, it's not co-ed. We would take our time eating our Taco Bell. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. You'd be, sn- you'd, yeah. Yeah, you'd be snooping. Yeah. You'd be snooping while you're eating them tacos. Yeah. But, Taco um, Bell, that, that, well, that was never my, Del Taco was what I got introduced to. Oh, you know, Bob used to work there. At Del Taco? You didn't know that? No. Did well, he? I just gave you some ammo, didn't <laughs> That's I? That's so good. <laughs> when did he work at Del Taco? In San Diego? In Poway. In Poway. The Del Taco, huh? In Poway. Little window boy? Was he a little window boy? <laughs> little tiny window boy. <laughs> Maybe we should timestamp this out, huh? Because I don't want to cause friction between oh, the no, two. Oh, no, no, no. what I'm talking about? Oh, no. This is I stuff I need. No, no. wait. Did this I just give you a grenade? Yeah. Did I just give you a grenade? Yeah, you didn't. It's, oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. I can't <laughs> wait to throw potato? it. Oh, I can't okay. wait to throw it. Yeah, he did not for long, but uh, yeah, he was working. We all worked yeah, at those. Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. I worked at McDonald's. Oh, nothing it's wrong with that. Mac D, bro. Yeah, Mac, nothing wrong Ma- with that. In, in Arizona, I worked at Outback Steakhouse. The Outback on Southern and... Ooh, God, where was it? Now I have to Was look. it in Mesa? No, I think it's... I think it was... Hold on. We're gonna, I'm going to look. Yeah, yeah. I love to... I'll talk about Arizona Dude, State all day one, with that's you. That's one of my favorite. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, the, hold on. Let's see. Uh, I tell you, here's where I worked. I worked at the Outback Steakhouse. No, it's Tempe. It's got to be. Let's see if it's still there. Well, I know where Southern is, so I, I kind of, it's, if it's in Tempe, I know where Southern Here is. Here it is. It's su- it was Southern and McClintock. Oh, I know exactly. And by the way, it's still there. I, I know exactly where that is. And Taco Bell was right in the parking yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. They had a GameStop. And across the street used to be, now there's a Dairy Queen, it used to be a Red Lobster, which right. I've never had to this day. Right. Have you ever eaten Red Lobster? Yeah. Never. That's a, that's a, that's like an American tradition. Never. I've never had it. Why do I, I like seafood from a fast food place is to me is like no way. It's, well, you know what? What's more common? It'd be more weird if you'd never been to a Sizzler or something like that. Never been to a yeah. Sizzler. But if you want to talk Arizona <laughs> state, like I worked at the IHOP off Apache Boulevard. You did? Oh yeah. Love it. Like graveyard. Yeah. I mean, I had such a bad attitude, Andrew. Like, let's say this is the uh, plate. Let's say this is. This is miniaturized, right? But let's say the eggs mm. eggs are here, bacon, pancakes or something, the sampler. I would have my thumb in the yolk like this. I just, here you go. In the egg yolk. Yeah, I would just be like. An eagle. And I would just. And lick it. I would just have the worst down. attitude. <laughs> I'd always be scratching my nuts and like, just like. So you got tipped well? No. Oh. <laughs> so I worked there, got fired there, yeah. worked on uh, Mill Avenue. What'd Mill you University. At what? P.F. Chang's. You did. Busser Barback. 
Ooh. And let me tell you something. People Do might... Asians get priority there when you get hired there? No. It's Nothing, like huh? no. It's like you're basically if you're a part of the kitchen, unless you're a server, but I wasn't even a server, but I had to compete. There was competition amongst the barback bussers. So you weren't even top barback busser. No, boy. I mean there was a guy like a Hispanic man with five kids to feed, and he like he's showing me up. He's like Oh, he's doing tricks with the no, bins? No, no, no. He's got like 20 plates and oh. you know, you know, and I'm just like Oh, I, I can't compete with that. You're not good enough. Yeah, so got fired from there. <laughs> There's a place on the other side, Saki Sushi, you know where the movie theater was? Oh, yeah. Got fired from there. I worked um, at Hayden Library on campus. <laughs> got fired from there. Uh, I worked at Circle K, you know, uh, Lemon and Terror Circle oh, yeah. K. Got fired, fired from, from there. there. They thought, and that, that's, that was a tricky one, I remember. You know, you work at a 7-Eleven or Circle K. There's some leniency, you would think, especially graveyard shift, right? Yeah, what do you do? Yeah, who cares? Dude, my boss looked like like Groucho, like a Groucho Marx character. Like, you know, he had the Ronald McDonald hair. Uh -huh. And then when he brought me to go to the training facility, like, he had an ashtray. The whole... The whole car was an ashtray. <laughs> he would just be chain smoking Doral's, just, yeah, yeah, so, all right, kid, you know, you know. But I remember one shift... He had left, it was three in the morning, and I, I, I had a joint on me. Mm -hmm. And you know, like, I, w I was gonna, I was supposed to stock the freezers or, so, or whatever, the fridge. Your you know, job. like, there's that. You're supposed but, to do your I, job. I, I, was, I was smoking a joint in there. Mm -hmm. I lit it up. Ooh, in the walk-in freezer, the walk -in, so good to get yeah, high Yeah, right? It's, it's cooling, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you know. And so I was smoking, and dude, he caught me. Smoking a joint. He didn't want to join you? And this is what he did. Like, I looked up to him, and then he goes... He took a hit, a couple nice. hits, and he goes, uh, so anyway, I, I need you to stock a Section C there, and you're like, he just kind of <laughs> went about his business. And so I'm like, holy, dude, this guy's fucking cool. That's cool. That he's is a, cool. He's cool. But the, the way I got fired is, there's a different, so many different employees for different shifts. Someone so, uh, uh, stole like close to $20,000 worth of money, because you could do money orders there. Oh, yeah. Money so, gram, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like people went there to get their check you know i mean yeah. to get the rent paid and stuff right. and so money was and they they blamed it on me but that but you didn't do nah, it no 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 you I know who did it. it i have a pretty good idea but i didn't you know it's i forgot the lady's name there was a lady there that a was a lady like, thief rare yeah i mean and she smoked more cigarettes than my manager i mean she was just ripping like she, i mean i i was I always thought like is she even work here because every time i would see her like we because she had the shift before mine mm -hmm. she would always just be out there just just, Ripping like them. on a milk crate, you know, like turning a milk yeah. crate like oh, yeah. horizontally, you know, oh, yeah. and just smoke. I'm like, dude, like she's always just smoking cigarettes. And she she's stealing for sure. Yeah. yeah. By the way, she's rich. She lives in the Bahamas now. Yeah. She, Have you? When's the last time you went back to Tempe, specifically Arizona State? I'm well. I will. I will be in Phoenix for New Year's Eve playing shows for New Year's Eve. I'll be there doing. But the last time I've gone back to school. No campus, like to yeah, check campus? it out, like check out to check out the terrain. Five years ago, I went back for something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know, dude. A lot has changed. Oh, I know it doesn't look anything. I don't like it even because I was just there with Jeremiah. You know, I did guest spots for his show, and we were driving around. We were doing vlogs and stuff out there, and I'm like, I don't recognize any of this. Yeah, no. The last time, even when I was there five years ago, it didn't look the same. It was kind of a bummer. We walked around campus and. Uh, all, so new, all new buildings, and yeah, the kind of the grittiness is gone, you know, because it was an old school, right? It was built in eighteen, I want to say this ninety six or something like that, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's right before the nineteen century, right yeah. before the nineteen hundreds. I mean, well, Manzanita's still there. Yeah, Manzi's still around, right? That was the first dorm I went to. You know what that was? That was the STD dorm. I know. Well, thank God I didn't have sex till like my sophomore year. Or yeah, because you would have got something. Oh, uh, for sure. For sure. Wait, you what, you you lost your virginity your sophomore year? Yeah, it took me a while. You know what? In PV East. Yeah. Do you remember who it was? Just a bigger Hawaiian lady. A um, bigger Hawaiian lady. Yeah, and I've told lady. this story before. If you, I could regurgitate, I could retell it. But yeah, I met. You know, I met. Uh, I was uh, uh, at a house, uh, like a kegger party. At, and do you remember uh, the Commons on Lemon? Sure. Sure. You remember those? Yeah. So it was kind of like dorms, but they were off-campus apartments. It was like apartment dorms. Yeah. yeah. I was. You know, I had my skateboard. I was there drinking beer. Met. Um, a Hawaiian, nice, nice Hawaiian woman girl. from the island. Nice Hawaiian girl, and then her two white uh, friends. A couple of whites. And they go, "Hey, you want to come back to our dorm and party or whatever? You know, whatever." Sure. And so I'm like, I, I bit, I like, you know, like PV. Uh, what's that? Palm Walk. Yeah. Palm. Do you remember Palm Walk? Sure. It was just that 
straight line from one side of the campus to the other. All the way down. I remember taking that walk with three girls. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, wow. Uh Uh-oh, this is great. I'm the only guy. (laughs) Did you think you were going to get laid? No. You thought we were just going to go hang out, maybe make out with somebody? No, not even that. Really? No, because they said you want to party or just hang out. You know. Did you guys do coke or something like that? No. Nothing. So we got there, and w- the, the 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 reality of it is those two white girls were that Hawaiian girl's sweet mates. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So th- they lived in a separate room. They shared a bathroom, and then the Hawaiian girl mm-hmm. had her own room. Like I remember just seeing an empty bunk. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, and then I just remember like I went into the Hawaiian's room. <laughs> And it was like she had like these lights and she was playing luau music. Love it. You know, you know, just like. Is that the Hawaiian? Is that I don't know. I don't don't know. Let's try it again. Try it again. Sad church music. I'm so sorry. So just we'll just edit that out. (laughs) Um, So and she offered me. She offered me. um, I remember she offered me. It wasn't a Corona. It was a soul. Yeah, soul Mexican soul beer. Soul Mexican beer. Yeah. And I just remember, okay, I'm like, oh, this is not bad. I'm hanging out in a girl's dorm room. and But what had happened is those two girls kept, like, barging in. In the middle of you guys hanging out. Yeah. Yeah, cock blocking. Um, your friend, we're going to go dancing. We're going to go dancing, like, 20 minutes. Get ready, guys. You know, like, they're trying to, like, conduct yeah. and take over what the night was going to be. Mm-hmm. No, we're going dancing. Get ready, get you know. I'm just like, and then in my mind, I'm like, I don't want to go dancing. No, I just want to drink beer, chill. I'm having a good time. I mean, if yeah. anything, I'm getting free beer, hanging out with girls, whatever. So, so once I took notice to that, I'm like, I got to do something where I don't have to go dancing. Right. So what I did, I don't know if it was a genius idea, but this is what happened: is they did it two or three more times, and I just, I'm like, oh no, we'll go, you know, we'll go. But then. The third or fourth time, I acted like I was so drunk, like I, like I was past, like I was too drunk to go. Uh, so I was just like, you know, I was kind of like crashed out. And then, then, then they they came in for the fifth time. Oh, oh, what's your, what's wrong with your friend? And then, oh, he's obviously mind, passed out. He's passed out. The luau music put you to sleep. Yeah, and the beer. Yeah, and you, you know, let's not forget, I had a, several beers at the the commons there. Mm-hmm. Huh? And so, so what they had done, I mean, it was weird. It was like they were like almost that. Hawaiian girl's nanny or something. They were like putting her up to on the top, bunk. like separate them. Um, put her up top, and then they like turned off all the light. Li- like it was weird. Very weird. You know what I'm saying? Very like they weird. were like the babysitters or something. Just a couple of weirdo weird white chicks. Yeah, weirdo so whites. So they <laughs> they closed the door to the the bathroom. At, you know, both doors. So they went. They're completely in their room. Right now, I'm in a dark. Room with just me and her. Me and you and Hawaii. Mm-hmm. You and Kauai. Mm-hmm. You and Honolulu. Oh, yeah. And, and so, did she come down to the bottom well, bunk or did I, you I wanna, climb up? I, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. I, uh, I'm going to pour a little bit of this for me. Yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, care. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do your thing. This, do this, your is, thing. this is exciting. <laughs> and so, I'm getting a little horny. I've told this before, no, I've told this before but you know, I've never been little, on Whiskey Ginger. I'm getting a little horny. Um, I, I just said, I mean, it, it's cringy now in hindsight, but I said, um, I, I, in a whisper, like in a whisper, I go whisper, whisper. I go, hey, are, are you still awake? <laughs> hey, what are you, what are you doing? Right away, I'd be like, get out, get out of my room. Well, that's what I said. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Are you still awake? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you still awake? <laughs> and then she goes, yeah. I go, hey, come. Come down here. <laughs> Ooh, dirty little Stevie. Little dirty boy. Come down here. Hey, come down to So the... she crawled down, got in your bunk. Yeah, and... um, It was on, baby. She had condoms. Wow, wow, I just remember wow. the... Because I've never... I don't even think up to that point I even put on a condom or... I didn't even know what... You know what I'm saying? Like, No. <laughs> you had never put on a condom? Dude, I would... Like, you... You're forgetting... In high school... All my friends like had gotten laid. I was going to like Bible studies and stuff like oh, that. That's right. I was going to church camps, Andrew. Yeah, I had no idea. So you how, never, you never I even had no experience. You never I even got tried more. To I, had, put on a I got more action in middle school because at least in middle school I was French kissing girls. Right. But in high school I got weirded out. Like Bible study, I would, I would talk to a girl just so I could invite her to Bible study. Wow. Yeah. So weird. So when I, I just remember. I put on the, con- the, I just, you know, I just put it on mm-hmm. and then it, it, I, I, I didn't last longer than like three to five. It was so fast. 
it was like one of those things where once I was like Munch felt it. the sensation and I was in, I was like, oh, oh you know, and I just, I just like really quick, <laughs> really quick. Oh, was she disappointed? No, yeah, I'll get to that. And so <laughs> she, we just, she just like kind of rolls over, and I'm now I'm laying on my back. You guys are laying back to back right next yeah, to each other. Yeah, side to side. Yeah. Like, you know, like, yeah, just like a, you know, two sardines or whatever. They're just in the middle of <laughs> the can or whatever. And it's quiet. And it's quiet. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's silent. And I just remember my mind started just, like, just processing what had happened. Like, oh, my God, you're not a virgin anymore? Oh, my God, you just lost your virginity. Oh, my God. It happened right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, dude, this is crazy. You just, you know. Just all these thoughts. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to process this, and I'm just laying on my back in the bottom bunk. And a couple minutes later, she whispers something into my ear. She goes, let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, she wants to give you a second go. You but, fucked up. You false started the first time. But You, know you what jumped I, the gun, bud. But you got to get back in but there. I, but I jumped the gun again. You did I, the same I, thing no, no, again? No, 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 no. I physically jumped up. Oh, I, cause you know it's kind of like this, dude. You know when you beat off and you nut, mm -hmm. you feel different. Yeah, we are different. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't change have shape that, a little bit. Yeah, you, you don't lost... have that warrior mentality. That no. that hunger from the wolf is right. gone. Right. So when she said that, I f I freaked out. I, oh no no I, I I gotta get go I gotta get going now you know and I <laughs> I just remember like just trying to put my stuff on and I grabbed my skateboard and I remember like I was in such a frantic I, I didn't even use the elevator you ran down the stairs. I ran down the stairs how many floors <laughs> I don't know maybe three, four, <laughs> fourth four? floor yeah maybe four yeah I mean they only have like five or it's not yeah, that yeah, tall. yeah that yeah and I just remember skating down uh just pushing down PV uh palm the walk. palm walk and then back then I uh w when I got to my dorm. I back then this is how long ago is I had an answering machine mm -hmm. like because you know like back then students had their own number like how home number right like four eight three whatever you know right. and I remember checking my messages the girl that I really liked her name was Jenny Jennifer yeah Jenny she had called me that night no I wanted to hang out you could have lost your virginity to Jenny but instead it was to Big Izzy like. Lucani or whatever her name is. Luakana. Luakana, yeah. Lua I love um, and what the story doesn't end there. So maybe a week had passed and uh, do you know where um uh, what's the what's the main uh, the MU Memorial yeah, Union? Memorial Union, yeah. Yeah. You, was that there when you were there? Of course. You know, like back then there's a bowling alley down there. Still was when like, I was there. Chick fil A, Taco Bell, Pizza well, Hut. Yeah. Like, like like a lot of stuff was no there. No Chick fil A. Okay, well back then there was Burger well, King. Burger King. Hood P Hoodlum's record records, which I no, that's... Hoodlums wasn't no, there? No, 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 When no. did you graduate? What year? 99. Nine? 2000. No, it had to have been there. Really? Yeah, because it was only a year or two later I was there. Hoodlums. Oh, it was a CD store in the basement of the mall. <gasps> yeah, 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 I do remember there that. It, it was like that little, um, yeah, yeah it was that like little... a little nook. Yeah, that little tiny... nook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you could go there from a different, like, from the bottom, that Correct. other... The other one Where the fountain is. Where the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no, no I know what it is. Know. I know, now I know. know. It took a while. It took You're a while. there. You got there. But that, that's... Hard to remember because in the MU there's so many different nooks. Sure, but it was at like kind of like a weird section of the MU it at was the like bottom, behind the food court. Yeah, like at the bottom near. Right, the, take yeah, take me back to Jenny. And so she said, "Hey, you know, I wanted. I was wondering if you want to hang out and whatever. I I just dropped the ball, and I'm like, damn, fuck, you know, you damage is done. I'm like, I'm tainted now, you know. Yeah. And so, but I remember, like a week later, I was at the MU. I had seen Lucani again. Oh, there she, she was. She was on one of the benches. You know, like outside the main entrance, there's a cafeteria, like the main one, mm -hmm. face, like the main entry point where like it's facing all the buildings, Hayden yes. Library, the fountain. Yeah. She was on one of those benches. Ooh. You know where the bike racks are? 100%. You know? And she tried to uh, wait. She recognized me. Hey. 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 Quickie. You know, yeah. Quickie. <laughs> Quickie! And so, I mean, this is back to my immature. I mean, I'm still rather immature for my age. I mean, I'll, I'll admit that. But even, I mean, imagine how immature I was even back then. I, li I skated so fast. You didn't even say hi. I just, just, you lost your virginity to I this know, girl. I know. I was just pushing, I just remember just pushing my skate, just, 
Like yeah, where is all she now? the way to the all the way to university. You were gone. That was and such you never a dick saw, move. Never saw that her was again. Such a dick move. And I apologize. Uh, for Wherever doing you that. are, Leilani, Kalani, Lu- Kaluna, Lu- 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 Kaluna. Let's say her name's Kaluna. Kalua. Kaluna. Kalua. Yeah, Kaluna. Kalua. <laughs> Wherever you are, please write into us and let us know that you're out here and you want Steve to apologize to you because we're gonna make him do it at some point. Yeah. You gotta say sorry for what you did to her face to face. We're gonna fly her out to California. Mm-hmm. She's because you know she's living in, in Arizona. She's got four kids. She's di- she's divorced. Or you know what? I thought about this. One of them I- is yours. The condom broke, bud. All right. Well, time stamp broke. that. Uh, I don't know how you <laughs> I don't know how you edit this, but we're definitely time stamping that. You just are t- you've been time stamping in your head the whole yeah, time. Yeah, in my the whole time. We're leaving all um, that in. And so yeah, that was yeah that's that was your virginity. That was, yeah, that was it was pretty uneventful. Um, I think everybody's virginity loss was uneventful for the most part. No, I don't. I think that, like, I always got jealous of, like, you know, like the high school sweethearts where. I guarantee that it was. You know what good. I'm saying? Like the, the, the football player and the, and cheerleader. the cheerleader. This isn't and... a, You're watching movies. Most people uncomfortably hook up. It's, it's, it hurts or it's uncomfortable. It's fast. It's it's in a cramped space. High school. It's in you smelling. Are you smelling? Yeah, no, my... no, no. This is just a nervous tick. I'm just oh, holding okay, it. Good. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. You tick. can smell it. Smell it. Smell okay. it. Smell it. Hold it. Touch it. Yeah, R- I like rub it. it against your. Tits. I like it. I like the texture. You can take it if you want. No, to no, take no, it. no, 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 no. I'm just I'm just admiring the texture. <laughs> um, Every high school hookup is uncomfortable. They are. Well, can I? I'll admit this. I I didn't even kiss a single girl in high school. Kiss. You, you never kissed a girl. No, I I got kissed more in middle school. I was French kissing girls like by the, you know, the cafeteria. Yeah, I, I you was were get, tongue and chicks. I was tongue and chicks in like seventh grade. But then what happened? You found I God? Yeah, it was the Christian camps. It, no, no. You know what happened? Right. It was wrestling too. But it made you disappointed. I was always cutting weight or it was either I was cutting weight, going to a meet or going to Bible study. Right. That's not a good, you know what I mean? And you were good at wrestling. Yeah, I was damn good. Really good. Yeah. I was really good. You set a record at Poway High? Yeah, fastest pin. Five seconds, I think. You think it's yeah, still yeah. there? I think it is. I think it is. If you go look up, like, whatever, San Diego Unified wrestling record, whatever, I don't Could you have wrestled in college? Yes and no. You know what? That's funny you brought that up. Because when I choked at the state meet, uh, shout out to Brand Setter, uh, my coach talked to me after the season was over. Hey, are you thinking about wrestling in college or coaching? And I'm like, nah, dude. Like, I'm done. So the most cruel and ironic thing happened like the kid that had beat me my junior year uh, i think his name was michael calmara from rosemead he ended up wrestling for asu oh wow on scholarship i just randomly it's kind of like your past haunting you oh yeah you know and then i just you know i would you look at what was the what was the 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 newsletter that um asu had you know the they had a student press. They had their own like yeah. publication or I don't remember what it was called. Or whatever. But it was, you know, all the students would read sure. it, you know what I mean? And yeah. I just remember looking there, oh yeah, he's in there. And then I just remember seeing him and then I, I saw him face to face and he was like I just felt like a fool because it's like, oh my God. It's like your past haunting you. Yeah. But that it didn't stop there. Like I remember I don't know how I met this guy, but he was the Sun Kiss Kids one oh five one ten pounder that was training for the Olympics. Wow. He was like the little guy that couldn't make the the team team because the lowest weight back then was like one twenty five or one eighteen. This guy was like a little stud. How how much did you weigh back then? I don't know, probably one twenty, one fifteen. But I, I could have made you know, I wrestled a hundred pounds in, in right. high school. So I met this guy, this sun kiss kid stud. Like he was a man. He had a full mustache and you know he was just a stud, you know, mm-hmm. and and he wrestled with the real team in training for the Olympics. I had met him. He was looking for a training partner, and I don't know why or how I like mentioned. Oh, I used to wrestle in high, and then he goes, "All right, come. I need to train. Like, do you want to tr- practice?" Yeah. And I just remember, like, but back then I was so out of shape. Like, I was smoking Newports, drinking Forties, <laughs> smoking weed. Like, I was not the same guy that I was in Poway. But I showed up to the practice room. I didn't even have shoes. I just had my regular Vans, and then he had to give me a, he had an extra pair of shoes, wrestling shoes. Mm-hmm. And so I just remember it was just me and him, like private battle. And then I remember the, uh, the coach for the Olympic team, his name was Tim Vanny, was there watching as well. How'd you do? I took him down a few times. Did you really? 
No shit. I took him down a few times. Did he? Did he kind of show you some love for that? Was he impressed? Was he like? I think Holy it shit. didn't. Yeah, he wasn't happy about that. He was bummed that you were beating him because here's a kid. No, who's I wasn't smoking beating him. Like he got me a few times, but just the fact that I'm out of shape, I'm smoking weed, I'm smoking like I was doesn't smoking a half a pack skill. of cigarettes a day. That's your skill, though. But that's the thing. It's like like similar to like riding a bike. You never lose that. It's like muscle memory and yeah. stuff. Yeah, no, but it, it, I took him down a few times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this guy was like training for the Olympic. You know what I mean? Like, and you were beating to, him. But no, not beating him. I, I, I took him down a few times. But Still good. But that's still kind of- For an Olympian? That's demoralizing for yeah. just a kid that- You're you, just you a know. kid off the street. Yeah. Just he thought he was going to manhandle he you. He thought I was like going to be his crash dummy or, you know, like yeah. his punching bag yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, I, you know what it is? It's because- the only reason why I'd never placed a state is because it's similar to like imagine a comedian choking on stage. Not choking in the sense that it's one thing to bomb and then do your material. I'm talking about choking where you literally freeze on stage. Like it's where, a, where no words come out. Right. I've been there. What? Young in my career, yeah, where I just choke and I nothing happens and I bail. No. Oh yeah. See, I need to hear these things. Buddy. I'll tell you what happened one time in the lab. No, 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 no. Yeah, where I bombed. Yeah. Please, let, well, we'll go back to my book. I, I, I'm more interested in what. Okay, you're well, doing. let yeah, me tell, you, I'll tell you. Please, thank I'll you. I'll tell you what happened. In here, we pour whiskey. Hey, since you're listening to this show, I think it's safe to say you love podcasts, right? Well, you'll find a ton of binge-worthy podcasts, including this very podcast on Amazon Music. Amazon Music has more than 10 million free podcast episodes to listen to. Uh, and I got to tell you, Smart List is on there. All those new hot ones that they got. Um, true crime podcasts. Uh, they got it all on there. Amazon Music isn't just for listening to podcasts. So they've got thousands of music stations and top playlists to stream completely for free. And no matter what you're listening to, you can go hands-free with Alexa. Alexa, play my favorite song. If you're like me and you want your music on demand and ad-free, you have to try Amazon Music Unlimited. It's pretty impressive. It gives you unlimited access to over 75 million songs, podcast music videos, and much, much more. Uh, you can listen to any song anywhere offline with unlimited skips. That's huge. Not a lot of other people do that, which I think is incredible. I tried it out because I travel a lot. I need stuff offline. I need to be able to download stuff and have it offline. And Amazon Music is very convenient, very cool. Uh, if you've never tried Amazon Music Unlimited, now is a great time. It's a perfect time because for a limited time, new customers can try Amazon Music Unlimited free for three months. Come on. No credit card required. Uh, you don't got to put that stuff in there. Just go to Amazon.com slash WG. That's Amazon.com slash WG to try Amazon Music Unlimited free for three months. Amazon.com slash WG. Renews automatically cancel any time terms apply. Ginger. I like gingers. This was, oh God, it was when the lab was the old lab. So it was quite a long time ago, maybe 10 years. The lab used to be the wall, the stage was on the furthest wall. There was no bar. It was just a big black box room. But they were doing just for laughs showcases jfl montreal for montreal. montreal but i had been to montreal and so when you go the second year they usually ask you to host a showcase because you're kind of like your first year in and so i hosted the showcase but on the way down there from my apartment i smoked a massive fucking joint by myself just for no reason and i was way too fucking high it was way too high because i was just kind of over it i didn't want to host the show i did it just to gain more acclaim with the jfl people i was so fucking high and my set up front was so bad, so bad. Like, what? Wait, wait, let's get into it. Like, how bad? Like, I, uh, the first joke out of my mouth bomb, and I was okay with it because I was hosting and I didn't care. And I was, I didn't care about the whole thing, really. I was like, oh, whatever. And then the second jump, uh, joke bombed, and I was like looking at everyone. And I, and then I got high. I got real high. Like, I was high, but then I got high. You know what I mean? Wait, like, on state. Like, no, 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 I'm saying it settled into me how high I was. Like, I realized how high I was. Oh, it, it dawned on you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, holy shit, what did I say? Like, now I couldn't even recount what I said. So I was getting nervous and I kind of just stood there for a second. And I know it was probably only about a, you know, 30 seconds, but it felt like five minutes that I was standing there and I couldn't think of what to say. I don't even know what I said and I don't know what I was going to say, but everything was empty. And I just kind of stood there for a minute. And then I brought up the next comic as fast as I could. I went outside. I found another comic. And I said, you have to finish hosting. And I ran home. And I mean, ran home. I got the fuck out of there. It was such a traumatic, weird, blank experience. 
I got the fuck out of there as fast as I could. So I didn't even finish hosting that night. Can I ask you, uh, mm-hmm. this is really, dude, thanks for sharing that. You I got really, it, baby. I really appreciate you that. Because that, <laughs> no, because I, you know, I, that's something, uh, you know. It happens. I, 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 you know, and I, I love, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like celebrating at the fact that you did bad. Yes, but, you are. No, no, I'm not because it just happened to me. Sim- I mean, not as bad. Like, the, the, your stakes were much higher because of Just for Laughs. Well, and I had it, just been there, well, so it was well, okay. I so, just was trying to, I was doing the favor. Uh, you usually are doing it for a favor for the for the bookers, but it was a bad idea on my behalf. Right, right, right. To not care and to bail. Um. Now, what, what, what was the, because that's a small room. Was that was it packed to capacity of like with industry people or yeah. just normal folks? Like, what was that? It was like? mostly normal people, but then it was a few industry people. Um, not not good. You know what I would love? I mean, you don't have to do this. I'll do can, it. Can you tell maybe two more examples? Cause I, the, of me the, eating shit because it make you feel better? A, well, not better. It just makes me feel like I'm not alone in the world or something. You know I what I mean? I promise you're not. Yeah, no, I just want to hear it from you because that really, like, that really, <laughs> that really, like, it, it really spoke oh, to told, my soul. I, I've told this story before, but, yes, I, please, but I'll please. tell you, this is, a, the, the, the other one I'll tell you is, I was doing a gig with me, Gary Veter, Alonzo Bowden, and Joel McHale were doing a corporate gig for Jim Beam. Jim Beam, yeah, Jim Beam. And I'm thinking a bunch of whiskey reps, it's going to be great. We get out there, it's a ballroom of like 500 people, and it's a, little, a bunch of Japanese guys, tons of Japanese guys. <laughs> and I was like, what are all these Japanese guys doing at a Jim Beam thing? Well, I didn't know Jim Jesus Beam got Christ. bought by Suntory Whiskey. All little Japanese businessmen in their little tiny Japanese beautiful business suits. And they were eating steak dinners at round tables, not oh. even looking at the stage. And I ate shit for 12 minutes, 15 minutes. But I mean, I ate shit. But Every that's joke. more of a spectacle, man. That's like a oh, movie it scene. It was so painful. No, dude. how? Why? Because it's They're like, Japanese, dude. I know, they but don't they speak even English. Know. They what? speak English. But, dude, that I want to hear. That's like such a freak occurrence. Oh, it hurt. It's, it, it hurt. It hurt. Dude, that's such a spectacle freak Because they, they would thing. throw me a look. They'd do this. They would go. They'd go right back to their plates. They just, they were fucking livid. They hated me. I well, that, bombed. To me, that didn't count. I bombed so bad. Trust me, it counted. It's, no, 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 it's no. It's logged. Okay, I'll give you another one. Yeah, did, yeah, yeah. Give me more I did a of... fucking corporate party. I did a corporate Christmas party like seven or eight years ago. And it was at the... Um, Pacific Design Center right in West Hollywood. You know that multicolored building? I've been there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was at a restaurant in the basement. Mm-hmm. One of the guys who worked for the company was a huge fan. He was like a young executive, and he, he saw me at the comedy store. I'd seen me a bunch and said, I got it. We're going to give you some money, and you got to come do this gig. A paid gig. Paid gig. Okay. So I said yes, and that night I was leaving on a flight, so I had to go right from there. To LAX. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I thought, what a great way to grab a check. This is amazing. How this- long was your set? 30 minutes is what I was supposed to do for them. Well, I was, I was going to do an hour initially, but then they had then me, then they had like a singer and all the shit. Okay. And I am on fire. I was killing. I was killing. It was so much fun. I was making fun of certain people. You know, I was teasing. Dude, crowd work? Yeah, it was crowd, mostly crowd work at those yeah, corporate yeah, yeah, events. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what they really, you know, they want you to have fun with them. And then the boss's wife, the head guy who I didn't know, his wife started chitter chattering. And what, during your performance? And I said, during your act? Shut up, bitch. You, wait, wait, shut wait. up, bitch. Wait, hold up. Say that again? I said, shut up, bitch. This is not in your head. You said Out this loud, vocally. on accident. Didn't know it was the boss's wife. I thought it was just some guy's loud. She was chirping and yelling, talking shit, and I was like, shut up, bitch. And it was silent. I mean, it was a fucking pin drop Why silent. Why did you do that? <laughs> no, dude. Why did you do that, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> And I had to be up there for 15 more minutes, just fucking, just it, nervous. And and the and the dude was pissed off. He was like, "You shut the fuck up." Oh, it changed. The currents changed. It was bad. I was swimming upstream, kid. I was a salmon swimming upstream, and there was how a big bear. How much more there. time did you have to? Do? Another 15 or 20 minutes. I did. How did you get? How did you? Trudge? I didn't. I blacked out, and now I was sweating. How did sweating. you trudge through that? I just was just. I had to put. I was thinking about the check. Thinking about the check. Thinking about the check. Thinking about the check. That's all I was doing the whole time. Thinking about the check. Thinking about the check. Give me the check. Let me get on the plane. Give me the check. Let me. And then when I you got were off, thinking these things. Yeah, and when I got off stage, the guy who I knew handed me. He goes, "Hey, man, sorry. This is this was weird." Uh, I think they're not happy. And I was like, yeah, no, no, no. And he's like, we're going to get you out of here. And I was like, mm-hmm. And I never spoke to those people ever again. I That guy who was a fan, I think he fucking, he, I think he's not a fan. Because I, mean, I made him look bad in front of his fucking boss. Anyway, thanks, Mike. Thanks for the money. All right. I just need one more story. I, kill, I killed a guy on stage. No, 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 no
One nope. time I killed a man. No, what? No, a man, this is a, that's a, man, a joke. Right? No, a man died. A no, man. no, 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 no. Don't, don't make fun. Me. Don't make fun. At the hands of me. No, 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 no. Is this a bit you're doing? Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. You're joking, right? No. This is a real story? Yeah. A person died because of you. Mm-hmm. Are you sure it was because mm-hmm. of your material? Mm-hmm. No, that might be in your mind. He couldn't take it. No, no, that might be in your mind. He pulled out a gun in the middle of my show, and he said, Enough! <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can just stop through it. I just stopped through it. <laughs> so, okay, my next question. So... Is it like when you decide to do this kind of art form, this type of uh, entertainment, right, stand-up, is it like a sport like hockey or football where you're going to get hit? You're going to get hit. You're going to get hit. You're going to get hit. That's the best way to think about it. Because before I thought- You're going to bomb. You're going to get hit. But because before, because I had the thing is, I was. I'm not saying I killed, but I at least you did well. I did okay. I didn't bomb those other not nine shows. But then I thought of uh, this. I'm like, oh, those didn't count because if you think about it, what? Did, where did I go up? Okay, I did Tempe Improv opening up for Jeremiah. But then Scissor Bro fans were there. Scissor Bro fans. King and the Sting fans were King there. And the Sting fans. So they were just wanted to see me. Right. And then I did guest spots for Brendan Schwab uh, when he was prepping for his half hour thing at the Ha Ha Club. Right. Guess what? Same thing. Same fans. All those people like they knew who I was. So now you're feeling out new fans. Now you're feeling what it's like to have new people come see you for the first time. So wouldn't that be the the better gauge? Sure. Because it's like. Whatever you do to the people who already like you, that's kind of like a cheat or something, a cheat code. A little bit of a game genie. Yeah, Yeah. so the main, so how do you get good to the point where- You're good to the strangers? You're good to the strangers. (laughs) You gotta do it a lot. That's years, right? It's years. It's years. And that's why- Strap in, baby. I know, that's why, I because I, you know, I've thought about the, I, I couldn't, I've been obsessively thinking about this. I'm like, oh, I thought of it wrong. No, this is- this is like this is like trying to learn jujitsu. Sure. And I'm like, I don't even have a white. You know what I'm saying? You don't even have a white belt. Yeah, I didn't respect it. Like, and that's my bad. That's my um arrogance. No, I'm like, you didn't do anything. No, wrong. no, no, no. I did. It was the way I thought about it. <laughs> I didn't respect what y'all did. I'm like, I did, but I didn't. And I'm like, oh, because I I be in the back of the OR watching you guys, and I'm like, oh. Judging. not judging, but it just like when you're in the stands and you're watching them do their thing, you're not realizing how difficult it is exactly what they're going through like psychologically yeah and like the way i'm looking at it now i mean i'm learning it might be off but it's like that's just one aspect is getting your material out there's like a thousand other things totally. like like even the way jeremiah was saying like dude you got to learn to read the room like like why did you do the you know what i'm saying why did yeah, you do the reading, dig- reading the room yeah yeah the I way did. you present the material exactly timing gets different the time of the sets is different there's so many elements what i don't like about it it's kind of like criminal psychology mm-hmm. it's kind of like i didn't realize how much social psychology was going on in real time you know what i'm saying like totally. where they're honing into like my energy source and they know it's almost like they see through me like um, he's expecting some reaction. You know, like they know I'm expecting something. They do. What is that? If this is a balance that you're tr- you're trying to figure out how to entertain these people and at the same time get them on your side, but also appeal to their naughty sense of thinking or laughing about something that maybe they would never say out loud or think out or really think through. But you're you're balancing all these things at the same time. So oh, see you're a, that you're, a mind, you're, just, you're mind magicians. We're mind magicians. We're trying to make people feel a type of way. Good so what does that come? Year five, year eight, year twelve, year 13 seventeen, or fourteen, maybe. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You'll get there. You'll no, get I'm there just sooner. no, no, no. But this is the thing. And then I don't. The way I'm looking at it too, I'm not. My intention wasn't like, yeah, I'm gonna start doing comedy and kill it. Was it was just an then, outlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just like I thought it would be like. It was personal to me. I wanted to get good enough where I could go back to Tempe and have an okay set. I think you could. I no, think no, with I time. With well, time. But I did. I did that. But at with Tempe. time on your own. No, but my intention was like, oh, I'm going to do this, and then this, and then I'm going to get this show, and then I'm going to get repped here, and then I'm going to do. Th-. You know, there's none of that. No. I, I'm more like it's more like an experiment to me. Sure. You know, it's just like oh, like 
someone who wants to learn how to surf or something. You know what I mean? Sure. Uh, yeah. Like you know, I always like the ocean and. But someone I, who I wants like these... to surf at competitions is what you're trying. You're trying to surf at competitions. See, that's a good question that you just uh, posed. I I don't know yet. I just know that. Look, it makes sense now because get get this. It's like I'm doing these podcasts where they're getting you know there's like King of the Sting for example like there's all all of them are on your level right Theo mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Brandon mm -hmm. Griffin right mm -hmm. so I I thought of it like that like oh because they're already talking about well, we should take this on the road and Steve can MC you know what I mean just yeah. just um in passing hasn't happened yet but I'm thinking that seed was planted I'm like huh oh that could be kind of cool like I could host or and then Jeremiah, we start doing these live podcasts. And then I remember it, I was in Vegas with him. He was doing a new club there. I wanted to go just to vlog and to be of service to help sell his merch. Right. So I was there. I, I'm, I'm, tell, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding you. I was there to be of service. I'm in the back of the room. I was like even making a signage for him. Very nice. You know, limited edition Jeremiah Watkins t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? And Very I'm nice just, boy. And I'm, and I'm watching him. I well, was just being trying to do the right thing. Sure. But then I remember the second day, the second show, or one of the comics didn't show up. Mm -hmm. Like, and then I was in the green room and then, and then I could tell like, oh, what are we going to, you know, and I'm like, I don't know why I said it, but I'm like, maybe to be of service, but I go, uh, I'll go up if you don't have any, you know? I don't know why I said that. Nice though, you threw yourself I, out there. I just just thought it'd be the nice thing to do, but then the the look of concern on Jeremiah's face, like he 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 went, "Are you serious, Steve?" I go, "Yeah, I mean, like." He goes, "Do you have like what do you, do you have material?" Like I go, and I was honest. I go, "No, I don't have any material, but I'll just go up there." And he goes, "Steve, I mean, I'm not saying not to do it, but man, like." He wanted to kind of like screen me. Yeah. Like he was like, he was really concerned because it's his show. Sure. So he was like, uh, what do you think you're going to be talking about? Like, just if I let you do, like, if you really want. And then I didn't know because I'm being, I didn't know. I was just, it was spontaneous. Sure. I was just like, I'll do it. I'll take one for the team. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you went up there. No, I didn't. That, didn't. that night I did it. Okay. But, but another seed was planted because like in my mind, it was like, it was kind of like, you you got near the pool and you kind of dipped your toe in, but mm -hmm. you didn't do the cannonball in the pool. Right, you're not gonna yeah, jump I in. Yeah, I dip, I dip like my foot in. Well, I just feel it. I dip my foot in, so I'm like, <laughs> oh shit, I could have done that shit. So that happened, and then all these other, you know, the you know, you have to pay attention to the universe, like sure. things and relationships and opportunities. So what I'm else? Like, what's the universe telling you now? Well, well, and another thing is like, cause I, you know, I I was in a band and I'm in a band, Mongchi, and uh, I don't know how extensively I could talk about this, but... Why not? Well, I can, but basically... We promoted your album. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So basically with Monchi, like, someone had met up, like, a really, like, a producer who had a mansion. You know, he had, like, millions of dollars of uh, gear in his home. Like, you know, he had this, like, compressor machine that the Beatles used. You know, I mean, this guy was a millionaire, you know? Yeah. And so he had met um, David Cho... And Money Mark, and then they had talked about our band, and he was he showed interest in recording us, and um, I was I've been doing so many podcasts, Andrew, like I couldn't make the first two sessions, so they had called a f uh, more younger female vocalist to like just you know show up, and yeah. I did, and then there, and then so to make the long story short, they basically just decided to go with her. <laughs> Decided to go with her. You're out of the to, band. Yeah, well, not technically. I'm not. Yes and no. You're out of the band. <laughs> I don't know how to say this, but you're fucking definitely. But, but 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 it's one of those things where if that's the case, it I'm is. gonna play devil's advocate. It if is. that's well, okay, I, mm -hmm. I, I respect. If, if it is, if it is, which it is, um, they didn't technically have to like kick me out, but it was like more. It was done more in a like a humane way, I guess. Of like saying, we need this. You, if you really care about us, yeah. you'll let this happen. Yeah. They bullied you into kicking you out. <laughs> 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 they bullied you into kicking yourself out. What, wait a minute. Well, is, isn't is she that good? genius? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very talented. Very wait, what's Mongchi mean? Mongchi means hammer in Korean. Hammer. Hammer. I mean, it just means hammer. Mongchi. Yeah, Mongchi. Yeah. So that Ladies happened. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. The new... Mongchi. So what's I... it? Well, how do you say nail? I don't know. Uh... My Korean's the worst. You don't know what nail no, means? Because I, I got to tell you, if you're going to start your own band, call it nail. 
Their yeah, hammer I mean, and your nail. No, 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 no. I would never do that. It, it or, almost... or sledgehammer. You should be above oh, that. Sledgehammer. Yeah. Or uh, or mallet. Or uh, just be one bigger thing than a hammer. Whatever. Yeah. That. So basically, <laughs> like what you're saying, you could interpret it your way, and I, you know, I'm, you I'm sure. You got kicked out. Okay. Well, you, I didn't say it. You said it. You got kicked out of Mangchi. Technically, I didn't, but you could keep saying that. <laughs> you um, got kicked out of Mangchi. <laughs> No, I you kicked but, you out of Meng Chi. Well, th- that's the thing. They're like, well, you know, if, <laughs> we, 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 like, because we had a meeting and they're like, well, you know, like, because he was getting frustrated because they were doing so many, like, jamming sessions and they're like, yeah. you know. Like, Who's the producer? Can you say? Is it Rick, well, his, no, Rick his name, Rubin? No, no, no. He's not even well known. He's just like uh, like a guy who, like, he knew people in the misfit. I, I don't know. He knew people in the industry, but I think he made made it through real estate or something. I don't know. I don't know much about the guy, but he. we had a meeting with him, and he's like, look, I'm getting frustrated because you guys keep recording. I want to finish the best songs, and the best songs thus far is with her. Because I had, like, when I went that third day, I was riding away, going in the vocal booth, doing my best. Yeah. You know, I was really taking it seriously, but it was, like, too late. <laughs> <laughs> so the, to make a long story short there's no animosity you know because in a way it kind of like that closed yeah and then that's where like going back to where we're at now where i'm like and then i'm showing up to these podcasts hey you want to do a guest spot here steve oh steve you should go over here hey steve listen to the universe maybe this is the shift you need mung chi needs to take a break and you need to move on to something else and, and then i did you, you know did. Like, so i'm saying maybe so, this is beautiful maybe we're gonna look back and go i'm glad i Kick myself out of my But maybe I might have missed. You fucked up. Maybe they're going to be platinum and sell millions of records and tour the world. And you fucked up, Steve. (laughs) Let me ask you something else. Let me move sideways. I forgot the. Are you in love right now? No, I'm not. Are you looking for love? Um, No, I mean, because, you know, I was in a long. Yeah. I was in a long term relationship. Yeah. And now you're single mingle. Yeah, I mean, you know, the thing is, and I'll be quite honest, it's like, dude, like, I am so addicted to masturbation, mm. like, as far as the way I do it, and... What do you mean? Your you technique? Know, I, not just that, it's just like, I do stuff like people in prison do, like, you know, like, I make my own, con- like, f- f- homemade fifis, you know, like... You do? Yeah, I mean, I go real dark, like, I'll go to tar, you know, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll look for a latex glove, oh, and then, I, you know, certain lotions that, like, I could squeeze in there that, like, when I, when I cause friction to it in the glove, that, mm-hmm. the, what be- feels best on my dick, you know, what types of lotion feels good in what this you, glove. What do you, uh... What... I, I exp- I'm constantly experimenting. What do you? How do you? What do you make the fifis out of? How do you make those? Is it pocket, well, I've, pocket I, pussy. Well, I've I've gone down all of those avenues. I've had the black butt with the butt in the vagina. I've had the regular white fleshlight with the you know. I've had the tenga egg where you know. I've done every single kind of. Toy. I don't know. I don't know what almost any of those things. Exactly, because you're a regular, you're a regular human. guy. Yeah, you're healthy. I just um, jerk off. <laughs> I just jerk off. Yeah. So. But wait a minute. Time out. Yeah. What is t- this interesting to you or to me? It is. To I me, mean, it is. It is. It is. What why? Can, why can, is it interesting? Because to it opens up a new vision of you, of who I, of who you are to me. What, <laughs> what contraption do you use the most now? Is it homemade? Mm-hmm. What's the homemade thing you're you're rocking with right now? Okay, so do you want complete honesty? Yes, I do. I mean, no filters. You no want filter. Just, you want honesty? Hit me with it hard. Just by chance, I, you know. I was in between. I was like, the the flashlight stopped feeling so good. Why is that? You think too much? I don't know. I just think, ah, uh, just you know, because not only that, it's like it's more of you. You're more self conscious when you have this thing, and you're like this big thing. You're Jerking having to prepare, off, right? like you're prepping a meal just to fuck it. You know mm-hmm. that type of thing. <laughs> and you're more, you feel like more of a loser after you nut, and you have to clean this black butt out and. Squeeze dishwashing liquid and it is yeah weird. yeah it's like a whole thing it's weird yeah it's weird yeah so I'm like I don't know what how I came up with the idea <laughs> can we edit all this out nope <laughs> okay. okay so I I don't know how I came up with this idea but I'm like oh because I'm like I hated it when I just conventionally jerk off and then you would nut on your belly button or stomach mm-hmm. and then because that's a whole different kind of cleaning thing you have to do there. Sure. You got to get the baby wipes. You got to get the napkins or whatever. There's a whole thing in that, right? Sure. There's or a whole just, process. Or just jump in the shower. That too. You can um, always just I'm, do but that. I'm, I mean, usually I'm jerking off like four or five in the, you know, so I'm not going to jump in the shower. Four know. or five in the morning? Oh, yeah. 5 a.m. you masturbate? 
You're not asleep. Oh, we got to edit at least that part no out. No like, way. Just, that, what you just said there, because you're giving away times and stuff like that. Let's just can, let's edit that, or, that part, the 5 a.m. Stop, stop. They don't have to know the time. It doesn't matter. Okay, so let me get, I don't want to miss the point. Okay, please. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm like trying to think like a mad scientist. I'm like, just like, yeah. oh, I'll just use a condom. I'll jerk off. This is, this is my thought. Oh, I no could. No cleanup. Exactly. That's the number one. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. No cleanup. I Clean. Get that. But I'm like, oh, I could squeeze a little lotion, aloe vera lotion in the condom. Mm -hmm. And then it's already lubricated. Mm -hmm. And then I could just mm -hmm. jack off with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what you're doing. Well, no, 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 no. I started with that. Uh, but condoms are not cheap. Right. Condoms, like, if you go to uh, Rite Aid or CVS. Or you go to West Hollywood and at all of those HIV centers, testing centers, I mean, they're again, all free. I know, but I'm not going to. You don't want to go there? I, well, I don't want to take a bus there just to get my masturbation kit. I think you, know? you should. Well, no, I'm going to get to where I'm at now. What led me? Okay. Because that'd be my number one choice, but I'm frugal, like Bob Pryor. Like, I cook my own meals. I make my own fried rice. Yeah. I use the soap until I can't use my soap, you know, the bars. So, right. like, I'm, I'm really fru You're frugal. frugal. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. I'm practical. Practical. Yeah. So, I'm like, oh, what's the next best thing? Mm -hmm. And then I think maybe it was, oh, no, it was because uh, I go to In N Out Burger a lot. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that. The, dude. <laughs> if you're gonna tell me like the way no, they no, wrap the burgers no, 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 and you no, use no, no, a wrap, no, 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 no. Okay. I don't know. I don't know where your head's going with you, this. Okay, go ahead. I'm like, oh, like, I, like I noticed the employees were wearing latex gloves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm like, you got to job it in and out. And so then you get I just no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm gonna I can get put them. my dick in there five times. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm thinking. I just, I kind of, I kind of just said, I made up an excuse. I said, uh. Do you guys have an extra pair of latex gloves? Because I'm a, like a germaphobe, like, you know, when I got my order. Ah. And so they gave me two. And so I go, okay, and I put them in my pocket. And then, like, I think that night I, like, I, I, it just dawned on me. I'm like, oh, that, these gloves are latex, too. Yeah. So that's how I got the idea. Uh, so now it's like this revised. So you're jerking of off into gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Your penis is in and in and out glove. You're jerking off into safety gloves. That's what you're doing. You wear them during the day. You jerk off in them in the evening or in the wee hours in the morning, I should say. Steve, I, this is impressive. <laughs> We're going to leave. We're leaving I, it no, all no, in. No, 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 Because I know. Let's, let's, leave it in. No, 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 no. no. Let's, let's really talk this out. Because <laughs> I thought we had a really good beginning and I'm middle not, part. I'm not no, criticizing no, I'm just saying, you. You're I'm, not? No. Dude, you're not doing anything wrong or but illegal no, 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 or immoral the, but, but, or But to me, I look like. Just this weird, you know what? The way I look at it, it's like, oh, people are gonna watch this and gonna be like, you know how like people look at Gollum, mm -hmm. like in Lord of the Rings, correct? Yeah, like, <laughs> fresh is like in the cave, perfect with the fish. What you just did is perfect, <laughs> there it is. you know, like that. Yeah. Like, they're gonna see this and be like, oh, that's Steve, that's not true. <laughs> Got my well, the more you do that, yeah, oh, no, the more they're going to think I'm about you. No, 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 but in my mind, I'm thinking once they watch this, they're going to be like, oh, that's Steve's like Gollum. I think people have way weirder shit than that. I... Way weirder shit really? than that. Steve, yeah, do the internet. Go on the internet. You'll find some. No, 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 no. Let's specify weirder masturbation techniques than sure. that. Sure. You don't think that's a bit odd? I think people still try to suck their own dicks. That's a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> do you try to suck your own dick? Andrew, it's not long or big enough. Come That's on. what I'm saying. But there's people out there that do, that really do go for it all the time. And even if my dick was that big, let's say it was like the size of that, the tallest bo whiskey bottle there. Yeah, this Eagle Rare. I, I would be so, like, imagine you doing that at night, even though you're alone in your room and you're fucking <laughs> sucking your dick. The moment, like, that thought enters your your head like what am i doing well imagine if like your drapes got drawn and somebody saw you that's that's <laughs> somebody poked their head at Dude. steve i got some of your mail what are you steve <laughs> i mean yeah the, you know so what so people have way weirder ways so, of sexual sexual deviance, deviance. Like, uh, yeah. no not deviance by the way and you're not harming anybody you've done nothing wrong so my point is who cares? Oh, I left out a major part of it, though. Yeah. So I do that, but then I have a black... Then I give the gloves back to no, 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 no. I don't... I, can't, I, th I discard those. Right. I have a portable Black & Decker heater. So... What, oh, like a floor heater. A heater, yeah. Like yeah, a floor portable heater. heater. I got it. I got it. You know? Yeah, and floor so heater. Yeah. I heat it up. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you heat up the glove. Yeah. Why? It's like putting um like. So my... do you put the glove on the heater? or You just warm it in front of it. Okay, so oh God, do you want me to demonstrate? Uh, I do. I might as well. I mean, I really I mean, do. We're all the way the, here. You, you open this door. Oh, you drove here. You might as well. Yeah. You know. So let's say. Let's say this is the heater and there's hot air. Very hot. Okay, let's yeah. say this is the glove. Okay. So um, I'll prep my uh, whatever I'm watching on <laughs> X videos. or Pornhub. Yeah, or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm prepping that. Got what the, are we talking? iPad, iPhone, TV? Just the phone. Just the phone. Yeah. I don't mind the phone. I watch full-on movies on the phone. I don't care. Me too. I don't care. You know. Yeah. And so, so I do, when I'm, when I'm, I can't do it when I'm soft. Right. So I have to at least aroused to the point where I have a Woody and so it's it's ready, right? So, mm -hmm. oh God, I, I'm ready. So I do this, like the heaters, let's say the heater's going this way. Uh, I place it probably like right here mm -hmm. and for about maybe 10 seconds, if that. 15 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. All right, we'll say 15. <laughs> All right, 15 seconds. And then and then what happens is you you get you, it gets heated with the lotion. There's there's a cool thing that happens where it kind of molds to get you know into the glove. <laughs> <laughs> Let's edit this out, man. No. So, okay. so so um, so, so um, yeah I'm um <laughs> yeah it's getting it you know there's this it's kind of like you know you know this is a good example. You know how like you have a microwave oven. I do. Certain people like to microwave it like a minute. Certain people like a minute and a half. Yeah. Other people like it burnt. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of like that type of thing. Where right. It's like, medium. I know. Medium, medium well. I, how'd you know? Yeah. Right. So it is medium, medium well. Yeah. And then, but then you need the timing where, because they'll lose, right when you uh, uh, move the, the glove, it's going to lo start losing heat. So you have to time it where when you heat it, you go like this and you put it right over. Right over your penis. Yeah. And you got to go right away. Yeah, no, and no, because this method, um, oh, I I left a major <sighs> detail too. So, <laughs> dude, I hate, I mean, you must be loving this. Every second of it. Okay. So, I, I left a major detail. Can I just, okay, Please. there's a major detail. Tell okay, the crowd. so I, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> when you squeeze the lotion into the glove, uh -huh. it comes out in just one spurt, right? Yeah. You have to, have you seen Karate Kid? <laughs> of course. Okay, so you know how Mr. Miyagi? Yes. You have to literally do that with the glove. Uh -huh. You have to do a Mr. Miyagi. To disperse evenly the lotion. Right, you don't want it clogged up into one corner. Yeah. Wow. That's a major detail. Which, which finger does your penis go to the most? <laughs> Index, ring, middle, thumb, pinky. Where does your penis go to the most? Because it goes into one of the slots, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it has to go into one of the slots. Which slot does your penis go in the most, Steve? Let me think. Uh, hold up, man. Because I didn't think you're going to go that. I didn't, I didn't think you're going to go that that much into detail. But you do. It. it does go into a slot, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Um. You know. Does it go index, into the ring? Ring. Index. In index. Middle. Index. Middle. Yeah. Those are the two. I, I, uh, hypothetically, the longest, right? That's yeah. pretty good. But it's good to know. I haven't talked this extensively about this. I mean, this is like the first time I'm getting this much into detail. I feel like, like I've said in passing, yeah, dude, I, I jerk off with a latex glove, dude. And then people are like, I mean, that alone is like, oh, okay, you know. But like this, because this is like, what, 20 minutes just on this? Yeah. I have, this is really detailed. But it's comforting because you know what? Somebody at home right now is listening and going, I do something very similar. Somebody does something similar, dude. Or, You're not alone. Or you're not alone. What if one of your listeners is trying to find a new, exactly practical, affordable exactly. method of masturbation? Yep. You're not hurting anyone. Correct. And you're saving money. Correct. And and vice versa. Yep. And so on and so on. Um, I don't. What's I, the thing you're missing? I don't. Because it gets so sticky and creamy in there. Yeah. That. I don't really focus on the fingers because I can. Uh, what I do is, uh, let's say this is the glove. I tend to like, because I like watching like blowjob videos too. I like my shtick now. Like lately, the last two or three months is like um, POV, like blowjob. Like I type in not just blowjob. I type in sensual. Uh, I, this is what I type in. Because you I, want it to be loving. Yeah. <laughs> you want some emotion in the blowjob. 
You don't want something. <laughs> I you don't want like, oh, you know, like that. You like it sl- smooth yeah, yeah. and yeah, yeah, sweet. I, I type in POV. Yeah. Sensual. Yeah. Blowjob. That's nice. So when, because a lot of those videos, a lot of the the scenes are like they focus on the head of your penis. That's right. So that's what I do with rimming, my kit. Rimming. I rim. I rim. I like that you brought that up. Rim. I rim it. I rim my dick with the latex glove just on the head and. Yeah. So you're having trouble finding women. <laughs> it's going, it's getting tough right now. Has it been tough, Steve? Is it? <laughs> Put that on your head. That's your sweet little, my little prince. Look at my little sweet prince. Oh, your timing is impeccable. So wait a minute. Your timing, you are a veteran, aren't you? Tell me. You are a veteran comic. When's last that time, was when, impeccable. When's the last time you went on a date? I mean, do we have to open this door? Yeah, open it up. Don't don't leave it locked, baby. When's the last time we went out on a date? It's been a long time. Andrew. Why can't we get you out on a Girls date? Girls don't like. This is a thing. You're such a sweet. sweet no, this cute, is the thing. Good Did, looking guy. Hold up, hold up. Who doesn't has, want to fuck has, Steve? Has Bob talked to you about my poop, my shit breath? <laughs> yeah, dude, my breath smells like shit. Well, you. Got- <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> shit. Well, we gotta get like you to- someone. Open up their asshole and shit on my teeth, on my gums. Well, let's get everywhere. you to a dentist. And that's that. See, that's the that's the whole mind bender. We gotta get you. I, to a my phobia is the dent. Like I don't like the smell of the lobby. Mm. I don't like the way the music's playing. I don't like the magazine. The you know madam- they can put you under now. You can do. You can. You I can don't go like under. any of it. I know, but you won't know what. I happened. don't like the smell of the hallway going into the. Nobody den- does. I don't like any of it. But nobody does. We. You just have to do it. I will do everything in my power not to go to the dentist. Like shit, like the Lees, like even my brother, the way Lees deal with our teeth, it gets so bad, it just, they end up falling, falling out. out. It goes through the whole, you know, there's a painful process as far as like when the root canal, when your nerves are like exposed and we're just popping like eight Advil and just like trying to endure. Yeah, yeah I, I've been through Cause that. your brother has teeth missing still. He's got several, you know what? That's so crazy. You brought, you brought that up because one time, that I, let me just tell you this story. Yeah. There's this Peruvian um, <laughs> place on Melrose called uh, Mario's. Oh, yeah. They, 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 that's good food, right? I mean, yeah. I love it. Yeah, no, they, it's they, good they, food. They had this dish called um, uh, saltado something, saltado. Sure. Whatever. It's like steak with rice, you know, potatoes. And I'm like, dude, we got to go here. And he's like, all right. And then we went there and I we had the same dish. And I just remember like looking over to see if he's enjoying it. He was literally trying to bite the steak with his gums. Like, he was like. (laughs) (laughs) And I didn't know what that was. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I can't chew it. He's got no teeth back there. Like, like. On this side, yeah. On one of the sides, he was trying to bite with his gums. Mm -hmm. So, going back. So, don't let your teeth fall out. Go (laughs) to the dentist, and then you won't have shit breath. Your teeth won't fall out, and then you'll, maybe you'll go on a nice date. I want to get you on a nice date. You're such a sweet prince. Uh, <laughs> shut the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I I appreciate that. You're and such then, a I mean, sweet prince. I know prince. you're. I know you're sincere. Yeah, because and, and I like you. I think you. I, I think I like you're it. a good soul. You're 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 a, you're you're sweeter than your brother. You've got way more uh, sympathy, empathy than your brother. Chug it, chug it, chug it. Oh, and I gotta tell you something, man. Hold you, up. You uh, deserve you deserve something special. Can I can I tell you another thing that 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 you need in LA that I don't have and I haven't had in like de- uh, like over a decade? What's that? A car. <laughs> Why can't we get you a car? Let's get you a car. <laughs> can we get you a car? Not only that, you know what? We should get My Bob. life has expanded. My life has grown through like showing up to these podcasts, trying stand up again, you know what? showing up to these places. Don't do whatever you're doing, don't go to CarMax or don't whatever you're about to do, don't do that right now. I'm going to call well, your brother. I'm going to make him feel bad about not No, 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 yeah, no. I no. don't want sympathy. No, Andrew, no. Ple- no, no, no. You know what? I could buy a car on my own right now. I know, now. but I, he deserve he no, should no, no, buy but, you one. No, no, for no, fun. no, 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 no. I could buy my own car. Yeah, That's but, what I'm telling you. But why don't have, you do it? Wait. I could buy the car. Well, I have why money don't you saved buy up. The car? I have. I could buy anything I want right now. Why don't you do it? Press, press stop, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> I, I don't want that sympathy. Like, damn, I paid for this. I paid because yeah, like I haven't asked him for shit in a while. But why don't He's you buy the enough, car then? Okay, and that's a good question. What is it? You know what? That's a very. There's something else going on, like deep rooted, like maybe psychologically, with like the phobia of you know, committing to going to a car dealership or, 
you know, or uh, there's something going right, on. You have anxiety towards the whole thing. Yeah, there's something going on that I haven't like quite examined. Like, why okay. is that? Because okay. because a normal person will be like, all right, go to the lot, talk to the guy. Okay, how much is the whatever? How many miles are on it? Okay, how much? What are the month? <laughs> what are the monthly uh, payments? You know, th- like just, you just normal don't shit. Go through the shit. Yeah, to me, like in my mind, it's like it's this like climbing up this lava mountain like oh god this what is about good. just buying it online you i know carmax I they know. deliver it to your I, house really you don't even have to leave your house you can just stay there do it on the computer you can no, do because the... i have saved money like i'm not like i know you do i don't have the kind of money you guys have but i've saved enough where i could get a pretty cool you could get anything you want yeah i could get like a little corolla or something so why like... so why let's do it i don't know why there's something going on you just can't do it i think a part of me is like Maybe it's kind of like because I want to like identify with this struggling artist. artist. Like it's just some obscure. Yeah, but even struggling weird... artists need to get to the place that they're doing I the know. art at. It's ridiculous, right? Yeah, you need to get to the place that you're doing the art at. Okay, can I tell also, you how much money are you spending on Ubers? A fuckload. Wait, say that again. How much money are you spend are you spending on Ubers? A lot. A fuckload. You're probably spending up to a thousand dollars a month on Ubers. A lot. Let's. Can you look? Look at how much you're spending on Ubers. I want to know. Well, I could do it right now. It's uh, every, how much a day? Probably forty, forty-three dollars per day, something like that. So around forty to fifty dollars a day, give or take. Well, well, that's not true because when I have to show up somewhere, like if I have to go to King of the Sting, if I like tonight, I came here. That yeah. I had to get an Uber. If I have to go to Jeremiah's, that's a little cheaper. That's like maybe, you know, twelve bucks to get there. Sure. Um, so yeah, like maybe three days a week, I spend that kind of money to get to where I need to go. I don't want to leave. I'm a hermit. Like if I don't have to go anywhere, I will stay in my little cave. But even still, look at that. You're still spending. Yeah. That's still like 600 to 800 bucks a month. Is it? Depends on how often you're taking other. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is. So that gets like a car payment, right? (laughs) Yeah, definitely. All right. We'll look into it. We're getting you a car. No, we'll look into it. You know, I'll get. I want something like just small. That'll you get deserve me the convenience. Is my point. Is it convenient though? To having a car. Well, no, no, no. You're missing the the the, the flip side of that. Uh huh. DMV, fucking insurance. Small things. Fucking, uh, small things. Uh, they come and they go. Oh, you know, the tag. The small like, things. They come and they go. You don't even think about them at some point. Do you? Th- what about your electric bill? Your gas bill? You know what? You're right because small things. They come. You know and they what? Go. Like. Even with my internet, I thought it was like a huge ordeal. But Not. now, but now, since I'm making better money, I'm like, oh, that's just a thing. I don't even think about it. Well, because you need to have it. Oh, yeah. No, 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 not necessarily true. Like, you're saying you need a car? I think in Los Angeles, it's hard to not have one. But you're missing the point. You were talking about dating. I know, but you so need let, one to date. No, but that's why, that's why I'm agreeing with you on that aspect. Okay. If you don't have a car... And you're trying to date in Los Angeles, yeah. it's gonna be fucking. It's gonna be fucking hard. Difficult. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be almost impossible. Okay. Well, let's get you a car, then we can get you on a date because you're a sweet prince and you deserve love. You deserve you know, love. But the thing is, I am so I have so many weird things about me, like that I didn't, you know, like just like jerking off in a glove. Yeah, like jerking on, jerking off in a latex glove. That's and like, okay. Not only that, check this out. Yeah. I didn't even, I didn't even talk about like my sleep. You know, the Lees are horrible with their sleeping patterns. Yeah, well, I mean, he doesn't wh- sleep. He doesn't sleep. I know. When do you sleep? I mean, sometimes it's eight in the morning. Sometimes it's eleven in the morning. Sometimes it's five in the morning. What do you sometimes- think that's from? Trauma. No, I think because I, you know, I just went to see my mom. My mom's the same way. Like we, we like, we cherish our alone time mm. like put it this way my mom she prefers no he- contact with human like i'm like i worry about her i'm like don't you have friends out here like once my dad passed mm-hmm. i was like trying to get my mom to get a dog i'm like oh mom you should get like you know you should get like a little dog a poodle or you know whatever sure. you know you should get a maltese or whatever she's like oh no she we like i think it's passed down to me and bob where if Bob doesn't have to show up to this movie set or this podcast or yeah. this TV tape, whatever, he would be okay with his little gadgets. At home. Yeah. For the rest of time. You ever notice when you're trying to talk to Bob, like he need he always needs some sort of stimulation. Like you could be talking to him and he'll be like Yeah, yeah, no. He loves he loves toying with stuff. What, what, what? What? 
You know, like it's like, dude. Was I'm it tra- always like that when you were kids? I don't know. It, it's gotten progressively worse. But have you? You know him. You know, you've yes, seen what he does. Yes, of course. He, you know, he's just like he's got to. Th- he's got to he, have a thing. He always has to be doing something. Yeah. Rather like, dude, I need you here, present. I'm trying to connect, communicate with you. With yeah. you. No, no, no. I'm hearing you, dude. What? What? Yeah. You know? But like, he's not. Yeah, it's crazy. But do you think when you were a kid, when you guys were kids, like, would did the family ever eat dinner together in the same room? Nah. Once in a while, yeah. Once in a while. But it was rare. Yeah. I mean. And did you guys ever have moments where you were together as a family, like, and did stuff? To, did, you, did you ever take vacations as a family? Yeah. I mean, yeah, of course, like any family in America or well, in the world. It's like, you know, like I remember, uh, yeah, taking the trip to Yosemite where Bob got diarrhea. He drank the river that. water. Right. Or like us going to Disneyland or, you know, like Knott's so Berry Farm. Yeah, yeah, we did all that stuff. But there came a, a time where, you know, like I didn't realize how abusive, like, my father was to the whole fan. Like, it's like, we should be seeing a shrink every day just because of that. Like, yeah. I blocked a lot of that out. Like, like even the part where I was a kid and my brother remembers clearly, like, dude, you don't remember, like, mom barricading the dresser, dude? Like, and then she had blood in her mouth. And I, I don't remember that part. I just remember, like, what it felt like, my mom, you know? Wow. Like, where, like, I, like, blocked a lot of those parts out where, like, Cause my dad, like my dad was, you know what my dad reminded me of? Have you seen that movie, um, Raging Bull? Mm-hmm. Who's that? That was Rocky Marciano, right? Like Robert De Niro, De Niro. Rocky Marciano. Yeah. He was like that. Like he was, he was. He was just a hot. Like, a maniac. He could just flip at any time. And go and just lose it. Yeah. I mean, he knocked my mom's tooth out, dude. I know. That's fucking crazy. And I remember, I remember the night, uh, my brother fought back. He fought back one night, and I remember uh, I heard commotion in the hallway, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on, you know? I hear, mm-hmm. hearing commotion, and dude, I opened up the door to the hallway. It was like watching, like, Bloodsport 2, like, <laughs> bok, whatever the fucking, <laughs> like, any Thai, okay, think of a Thai kung fu movie. It was that. It was that. And they were beating the shit out yeah, of Yeah, and it, it was so interesting because if it was one-sided, my dad would have backed him up and just start. my yeah. brother... Would back up and he would he would do flying knees back to him. Damn! <laughs> it's like think of two flying monkeys. Like like think of two kung fu characters. Like they're both their styles were flying monkey. Just constantly kicking in the air. It was flying monkey knees. <laughs> yeah yeah boom. Then he'd back him up. Then he'd back him up. Then he'd back him up. Yeah, it was crazy. Wow. But I remember like seeing this and witnessing this, and I'm like, and I close the door and I'm like, oh shit, Bob's <laughs> g- becoming a man. Yeah, you fight your dad when you're becoming a man. You know what I'm saying? It Kinda, was that. Yeah. It was that. Like you've dealt with stuff. No, like that's that. a that's a thing. As right? soon as you as soon as you step back up, you kind of become a man because like, you don't take it anymore. You stepped up to the lion. Yeah, the cub becomes a lion too. You know what I mean? That's exactly right. Yeah, and I remember I he uh, I I he gained a lot more respect that day. I there was a few things. You know, I'm 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 proud of like his um acting accomplishments, his comedic accomplishments every you know i was there when he was on jay you know jay leno and i I was so proud of him and all these things these landmark i mean these like these great moments Mm -hmm. i i'm proud of him for those but i what stands out to me is when we're like kid like i was proud of him that moment when he stood up to my dad but then there was a wrestling match where i was on the side of the the mat where it he was wrestling this really tough filipino kid or you know, uh, from Monta Vista and it was, it was, they went into overtime and it was so, it was like watching a, like a, a movie or something like, and they, they, they had attitude, like they were talking shit to each other, like blowing each other's kids. Like, I remember they were in overtime and then the, the, the guy went like, the, he did like, it was the next takedown wins. It's like maybe four, four or five, five it's tied. So they go back to the circle. The guy, the guy Bob's wrestling did this. Mm. He did like this Bruce Lee, Bruce Lai, Kung Fu, <laughs> like, you know, like, yeah. what do you like? What is that? The crane tech, you know? Right, the crane. And then my, what do you know what my brother did? Blew him a kiss. Went, and I'm like, what? And then when, once the whistle blew, my brother f- double legged him up in the air and slam, just slammed him. Game time. So that was another moment where I'm like, oh, I'm become, that's my bro- That's my brother. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I am proud, like, cause you know he's achieved so much, and a lot of the stuff that he does, it's like, you know, with I, I understand you guys are really ambitious, and um, 
you know, as far as your career and, you know, TV and movies, but it's like, I always, I always kind of worry about like, is that, cause it's, there's always the next thing, right? Like, yeah. let's say, okay, let's, let's play this game. Okay. Let's say you, cause you know, you, you know, you, you're on a show with Lil Dicky. I mean, that's a big yeah. thing that the show with Lil Dicky is, is on FX or, yeah, FX, yeah. okay. That's a big deal. Yeah. I mean, that's, would you say that's like the biggest thing you've yeah. booked I mean, probably. thus far, like acting wise? Yeah, probably. But then, but there's always something above. Right above it, yeah. Okay, There's so, always something. Okay, l l let's play devil's That's advocate. That's why you just have to live in it and enjoy it, and then get to the next thing when you get to the next thing. Okay, can I throw a little? little can I do this little game with you? As uh -huh. far as okay, okay. What if, um, two months from now, like when the when the new year begins, your agent? I don't know. We don't have to say who your agent is, but you get a call. And, you, you, Quinn Tarantino, really loves you. Okay, and he has this great part for his next movie. Okay, Tarantino. Okay, cool. So. And then, you know, everyone's in it that you've looked up to, you know, like Bill Cosby. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. None of them. But just just the one, you know, like just whatever, like whoever's been, you know, Samuel Jackson's gonna be in it. Okay. Right? Or something like that. Yeah. So you do that, right? And it's a hit. Yeah. And it's a hit. I mean, you can't get much cooler and better than that. Cool. Oh, unless it's like Martin Scorsese or something like that. Or like you know what I'm saying? Or like um Paul Tom Paul the PTA. Yeah, PTA. Yeah, or something like that. Once you do that, then what's next? You can't get bigger than that. But you don't you can't keep looking for what's next. You just have to just enjoy well, it while it's happening. Like, and isn't then... that don't what are you talking about? That's the way you have to don't you have to look at what's next? No. You have to just keep preparing for what's next and working harder to get another thing, but you still have to just sit in the thing. If this is the last thing you do, then this is the last thing you do. You're in fucking the program, aren't you? It's one day at a time. Yeah. Entertainment is kind of one chunk at a time. It's like, well, if if this is the last kind of things I was able to do, this is incredibly fun. Like, uh, there's a better question. If it were to end tomorrow, let's say, like my life? No, 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 not your life. Just the career. Like, there's oh. no acting work. There's no sure. If it all goes away, yeah. There's no comedy shows anymore. I like, had a great some time. crazy virus comes up where you can't leave again. I, I had and, a great time. And would you be content with just doing the no normal Joe Blow thing? Yeah, I had a great time. Really? I had a great time, man. This has been awesome. I'm so happy to be able to have done it. If all, it all this. If it ends, it ends. I can, I I can only control what I can control. At some point, is it me? Uh, if it's over, it's over. I had a great fucking time. That's how I feel, man. If it's over, it's over. What? And I, I and I respect that. That's true. I, I had a great that. fucking I time. I respect that. Life's too short, dude. It's going to go away. Do you Really enjoy doing com stand up comedy more than anything in the world. Why? What is? Why is it so enjoyable to because you? Because uh, because because hundreds or thousands of people live watch you formulate a thought, a joke, an idea, a premise, an angle, all at the exact same time. It's so strange. It's like such a beautiful moment of like, dude, I get to say this thing that I think is funny. And all of these people at the exact same time get to go on this little journey with this joke. Some people may receive it really well. Some people may think it's okay. Some people may not be a fan of it, but they're ready for the next thing. That's a, it's, it's pretty moving to be able to kind of, you get to juggle people's emotions. It's really fucking cool, man. It's can, cool. Can you do me a favor? Just, you know, cause you're, you're doing a podcast with my brother. Yeah. Can you do something mm -hmm. like in a humane way? <laughs> Maybe. Because my brother's in his 50s now, okay? Mm, 50, 50 Hear me out. Can you try to encourage him th to really push to get his special out the next year? Yeah, we will. Because the reason being is because, you know, like you just said these things, and it's like, you know, I, you know, I'm a newbie on the block. I don't know much. I'm learning, right? I'm brand new on the scene, but I know that for comedians, a specials, your specials, like your it's a thing. It's your album. Yes. It's like the Beatles, your Sergeant Peppers, or yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like Put out a record. that's your thing. Yeah, I just want him to do one. We're gonna get, we're gonna get him to do it. We're gonna. I promise. Re I promise. Really, I'll work very hard on it. Trust me. Really? Yeah, yeah I will. Because I want that for my brother. I've been pushing for him. I want that. But moreover, what I want is I want you to keep doing it. I want really? You to, yeah, because I want to hear more stories. I, I will. And. I want I I because I'm already doing better today. We need to do a show together so I can watch what you're doing. Um, want to do a live show me, with let you? Let me let me work on my stuff. I don't have no much. no. I want to watch Andrew, it now. I don't have much stuff. I want to see it now. Well, you're not going to see much. I don't have because I'm all that dick stuff. I'm getting rid of that. 
Okay. The Get micro dick shit, I'm getting rid of it. All right. But when I, you're when you're ready, I want to well, see well, it. What at an open mic? Because I'm gonna be doing these. Yeah, I'll open come. mic. I'll come at the Ha Ha Club on a I'll Sunday. A open mic. I'll come. I'll come to watch you. I'm not your brother, but dude. I'll I'd, come. But I'm I'm trying to work through. I I'm trying watch. to figure it out. I want to see it. But at least in my defense, I'm writing my own shit. That's and all I'm, that matters. I'm really trying to think of shit, and I'm writing. You know, I have these note cards. I'm writing, dude. I look like a madman. If you go to my apartment, I have all these jotting down notes, and I, I want to. I want to see it. Well, I don't have it hasn't formulated yet. It's going to come and I'm going to watch when it. When does that happen? You tell me. No, no, when does it happen when you have an idea? You tell me. No, 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 I'm talking on general terms. I'm I'm asking you too. But there is too. no way. Some I'm asking people, you too. But some me personally, it's I I over time some things I'll, some things it takes a week to formulate a great joke that I've had an idea for. Sometimes I'll write something down and I won't come back to it for a, a, a couple months, sometimes a year and I'll look back and I'll say, "Oh my god, that note that reminded me of something else, and I put it into something new. So it might be that's a process in itself. The whole like thing rearranging is a this with this. Totally. Or if you say it this way, correct. If you pause here, oh, yeah. Then you say it like this, then that might work. Yep. So the initial idea is just like the tip of the iceberg. That's just the tip of the iceberg. That's right. Just the idea, because I was going to the grocery store last night, and I, because I was kind of like processing what happened this whole week not just the show but all the podcasts i've been doing in right. my life and where i'm at in life and i got hit with this i don't know where it came from but i'm like thinking about like how am i can present like new bits or ideas and i thought of something and i'm like oh that came out of nowhere what was so it so i don't want to say quite don't yet don't say it on yeah, yeah, yeah 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 don't i don't want to say it. it quite yet save but, it for when you're on stage yeah but it hit me like me like walking to the grocery store and i went home and i was like writing it down i'm like oh okay that's that's, a, a that's different, what it is. That's a different way to present it. Correct. That that might be the missing point of, because I tried it, saying it a certain way, and I'm like, uh, there's no. But you'll keep trying to find it. So you just, so would you say this whole thing is just searching? The whole process of what you do, what Eric Griffin does, what Bob and Theo Vaughn and Brandon, like yeah. all your, your uh, colleagues do is they're always searching. We're kind of searching for the right way to make people find the things that we find funny or entertaining what's the best way to package it so they find it as funny or entertaining as i do can i can i can i confess something yeah that you jerk off and like <laughs> no no i out. already i already i already dug oh, myself we said that? i already dug myself a hole with that okay i i also went the dark side like when that happened like i looked at them as like my aunt like oh they're my enemies Ooh. like oh they they're conspiring against That's me. bad. Don't I do know, that. no, no. I'm just, I'm just, this is a confession. I mean, nothing happened because I right. don't think of this anymore. Right. But you know, there's always the shadow part of you. Sure. The dark side. Sure. There's always that. Sure. And I'm just acknowledging that that's there. It's there. I was going to like, you know, after you do something, you're like, oh, I should have said that. I could have said that. Like, I did this whole, this whole thing in should've, my head where would've. I like went to individual audience members and just went on you know like i went like virginia tech show so <laughs> i went virginia tech well let me say something <laughs> I'm, so, I'm just being honest i'm with glad you. you didn't kill anybody no 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 not not this was more metaphorically sure not like i'm gonna go get an uzi and well do don't it. do that no no i'm saying as far as the energy like oh i'm gonna show them or, yeah but you didn't i didn't and you made it out alive and you're gonna do it again and again and again people go see steve well, I don't know when my next show is. Well, we're going to look for you. All right, look. Do we have a good time? Do you think we got some fun? <laughs> we did. Do we have a good time? We did, and I love you, and I, I appreciate it. I love you too, buddy. It. I love you. So yeah. do me a favor. Look yeah. in that camera right there. Yeah, can, we, can I start plugging some stuff? Yeah, well, uh, look in that camera right there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You're going to say, for, first you're going to do your plugs, mm -hmm. and then you're going to say one word or one phrase that's going to end the episode. That's how we do it. So plug some stuff real fast. Okay. So, so watch Scissor Bros. Yeah, go to youtube.com slash Scissor Bros. Come out January 8th for a live performance in Je uh, Jeffersonville, Pennsylvania at Joel Souls or Soul Joel's. Go on mm -hmm. my Instagram's uh, Instagram, Q-U-A-N-G-O-U. -U. I also have a, more of my music on Spotify. So if you go on Spotify and you uh, type in Q-U-A-N-G-O-U, a lot of my albums will show up there. I yep. also have my stuff on StevieWeebyBandcamp.com. Uh, if you go, I have my own podcast, uh, YouTube.com slash StevieWeeby. And I think that's about it. And one thing. Mm -hmm. um, I had a really good time today. 
um, as far as I'm glad that I could be honest with you and uh, I'm realizing stuff that people talk about might be embarrassing to me, but if it could help someone, that's even better. So I guess that's the moral of whatever we discussed today because uh, I didn't hold back. Uh, no, you didn't. Nothing was fabricated. This mm -hmm. is, you know, if you go to my apartment, I have evidence that I have a, a box of latex gloves. I appreciate you for the outlet and the platform for me to, you know what I mean? Because I know uh, I, it's been a while. I haven't been here before, but yeah. I'm glad I showed up. And once, the, the thing about me is once I commit to something and I say my you words, my word's important. Your word is your bond. My word's important. So look in there and say, my word is my bond. So, okay, so the last thing I want to say is my word is my bond. Stay true to your words. In here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers.